Hi, everyone. I'm Audrey. And I'm Anthony. Together, we are Rianne. Audrey, mm -hmm. what are we doing tonight? We are starting my first playthrough uh -huh. of Metal Gear Solid. So very excited. Thank very you guys excited. very much for tuning in. Thanks, everybody. I love the Metal Gear Solid series. Mm -hmm. I've played everything except for the Metal Gear games and Metal Gear Solid 5. Mm. And some of the PSP spin-offs that are no longer canon, I haven't played most of those. Oh, that's the only one I've played. <laughs> yeah, so, that's right, Metal Gear Acid, so right? Our powers combined. We yeah. played most of the games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the, no guarantee that we're gonna dive into the entire series, but we, we've just been excited to- um, Let's start with this Experience one. this game together. I'm very excited. Thank you guys for being here. Yes. Um, let me switch over to the game here. And uh, Alex Cusco, I just noticed the chocobo on the mic. Yep. Oh yeah, Lou asked earlier. Oh, di oh, did Lou? When is the next um, Rainy Rumble? Rumble? I have an idea. We have an idea. I think mm -hmm. um, maybe oh. it'll happen soon. We'll if let you not, guys know, of course, on the Discord. Then maybe we'll um, start off 2022 with something spicy. Soon-ish. Yeah, soon-ish. Soon-ish. It's coming. I'm, I'm, I'm coming after that uh, chocobo here. Um, here we go. I'm gonna switch over to the game. There All right. So we're going to be playing. Metal Gear Solid 1, the original PlayStation 1 version on a PlayStation 1. We've decided that since our duo streams are mainly about enjoying the story, mm -mm. we are going to play it on the easy difficulty. Remember, we're not trying to struggle or face the most difficult challenges. Mm. We're here to enjoy and discuss the story. Let me know how the audio is, by the way. Um, what's Rainy Rumble, Rumble, Red Blood Cell? Great question. Rainy Rumble is when um, Anthony and I play a competitive game. Yep for the honor of donning the gold chocobo on their microphone. As you can see, I'm currently the true gamer of Rainy Rumble. Okay, this, this audio seems loud here. The so game's gonna, a little loud, yeah. I'm just gonna turn it Let down. us know, please. Audrey's oh. adjusting it. Let us know if the game's a little too loud. But yeah, Red Blood Cell, we've had three Rainy Rumbles so far. Audrey defeated me in the first two, and I finally took it for the first time in the last game. That, that you did. I that did, did, I did. Hey, Pinoy Panda, welcome back. Pinoy, MGS, hey, how's it going? My all-time favorite franchise. Oh, all-time favorite. Thank you for tuning in. Okay, okay. Oops. Um, I'm playing some stuff. Uh-oh, that's okay. Audrey getting ready to reclaim the gold chocobo. Kessler, you know I training. am. I'm not just training. I am. I'm training. Not exactly the game I'm going to challenge with, but just uh, cross-training. <laughs> Doing crossword puzzles. So we're going to prepare for this playthrough using the special features they have in this game. We're going to read the special recaps of Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2 and do the briefing for this game. So, um, look at a special. Previous operations. The biggest hurdle for you diving into these is maybe just remembering names, keywords, key places. Uh-huh, yeah. So feel free to just refresh your memory ask us, like, who's that again? Who did they mention? Gotcha. Oh, here uh, we go. Scooch. Oh, you fixing stuff? camera over. Oh, is it I crop weird? Too. Yeah. Look at that. That's okay. There it is. Alien Zero says, I love the music from this one. Probably one of the best ever. From Metal Gear Solid 1 specifically. Oh. Alien Zero, nice. Thank you for that recrop, Audrey. Cool. Everything good otherwise? I think so. Okay, please let us know, guys, about the audio. I don't think there's audio now. But there's going to be two to read. Yeah, in terms of the music, I feel like I know that, you know, main, like, battle theme or that, like, dun, 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 like that one. And then all the vocal songs. Yeah, yeah. The vocal songs are love, especially good. Really love the vocal songs. How about I read one and then you read the other? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll read Metal Gear. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Metal Gear. What PlayStation was this on? What PlayStation? I'm oh, sorry. What, what console was this on? It's not on NES, right? It's some other console. I don't remember the Gosh, name. Gosh, I don't know. Okay. Lore Masters? Okay. The year 1995. Deep in South Africa... 200 kilometers north of Garsberg, Outer Heaven, an armed fortress nation established by the legendary, legendary mercenary who was feared in combat by both his friends and foes as a hero and a lunatic. The Western nations have found out that a weapon of mass destruction that could rewrite war history... Oops. Could rewrite war history is under development at Outer Heaven. They have called upon the high-tech special force unit Foxhound to take care of the situation. In response to this order, Big Boss, commander-in-chief of Foxhound, sent Gray Fox, oh. the man with the code name Fox, which is given to the best member of the unit. Operation Intrude N313. 
after a few days, his last message being Metal Gear. Gray Fox is missing in action. Taking the situation seriously, the top men of the West again called for Foxhound. Big Boss selects Solid Snake, who has just recently joined Foxhound as the agent and entrusts everything to him. Successfully making a solo infiltration to Outer Heaven, Snake got in touch with local resistance members Schneider, Diane, and Jennifer. With their cooperation, Snake succeeds in rescuing Gray Fox. Gray Fox then laid out the terrifying facts about Metal Gear. Metal Gear was the development name of a nuclear, warhead-equipped, two-legged walking tank. It can walk through even the tough, the roughest terrains that would stop normal tanks. It can conduct local warfare by itself with unique weapons like its Vulcan cannon and anti-tank missiles. It was indeed a new type of weapon that can conduct a nuclear attack against any place on the face of the Earth from any land surface. With Metal Gear, Outer Heaven was trying to establish its metal... Mi- its military superiority over the entire world. In order to destroy Metal Gear, Snake rescues Metal Gear's chief engineer, Dr. Petrovich, and his daughter, Ellen, who was was taken hostage for her father to continue with his development. And here's from Dr. Petrovich how to destroy Metal Gear. Mm. However, as Snake approaches the heart of Outer Heaven and Metal Gear, well-designed traps are set all around Snake, as if all his actions are being leaked to the enemy. In the midst of escalating battle, the leader of the resistance, Schneider, falls into the hands of the enemy, and Snake himself gets injured through the deadly battles with Outer Heaven's best mercenaries. But Snake's indomitable spirit leads him to the 100th floor basement of the secret base where Metal Gear was developed. Evading the powerful defense system that wipes out all intruders, Snake ultimately succeeds in destroying Metal Gear. Snake tries to escape from Outer Heaven upon completing the mission. However, during the escape, he was confronted by one man, Foxhound Commander-in-Chief Big Boss. Oh, we got a follow. Thank you so much for the follow, Free Britney Zamora. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. We um, Thank you. While, we're, yeah. while we are paused, they mentioned something about a resistance. Is that supposed to be Foxhound or is that something else? Like a local resistance, I think. Something like that. Oh, it's a, t- it's a different group entirely. I think so. Okay. okay. Kind of like teaming up with the local resistance. Gotcha. Please okay. correct me if I'm wrong. Cool. You're reading the summary for two before you've been playing. This is Metal Gear mm. and Metal Gear 2. And then we're going to play Metal Gear Solid 1. Mm. So that comes after these two Metal Gears. Uh, the MSX system. Yeah, these are much older. Oh yeah, what I was wondering what MSX is. I don't. I don't know that system. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. I only know it by name from this the Metal Gear stuff. But yeah, it's Metal Gear, Metal Gear Two, and then the PlayStation Metal Gear Solid One. Right, right, right. Okay. Big Boss laughs at the astounded Snake and tells him of the truth about his mission. While serving as the commander-in-chief of Foxhound, Big Boss also ran a mercenary dispatch company utilizing his connections and capital from his years as a merc. He was planning to build this company a larger military establishment, and he built Outer Heaven as its base. His purpose for sending the rookie snake to Outer Heaven was to cause information confusion against the West. However, Big Boss's miscalculated... Big Boss's miscalculated... He never thought that Snake would make it this far. Having lost Metal Gear, Big Boss activates the self-destruction system of the underground base. While the countdown to destruction continues, his scream echoes in the emptiness. You have gone too far. Too far! On the 100th floor basement, the battle between two men commences, free of ideology and politics. The armed fortress nation Outer Heaven collapsed. The impenetrable fortress made from the best military technology and occupied by the toughest mercenaries burned in flames. Behind him, the flames reached skyward as Outer Heaven fell, leaving Solid Snake all alone. Damn. Um, I don't remember. Did, what was um, Outer Heaven's reason for using Metal Gear? Did they just want, were they just on a quest for a conquest or just trying to rule or? Yes. Or just- um, Military might. Yeah. Okay. We will learn more context later. But just remember that these things happened. This like third party military might wanted to hold the world hostage because they have a walking tank that not only can move on any kind of terrain, 
nuclear head. But can launch a nuke mm. to any location on the world. Cool. Uh, putting a gun a gun to the head of the entire planet, essentially. Yeah. Oh, MSX was a computer. A oh, Japanese okay. computer. Gotcha. And Viz is heading to bed. Thank you so much for Thanks being here, Thanks for being here, Viz. here Viz. We'll catch you later. Have a good night. And Prince Leo is here. Excellent choice. Sounds Thank good. Thank you. This is one of my top three favorite game franchises ever. A- another person who said that. Yeah. All this happened in an, in, in, in an NES game? NES era game, yeah. yeah. It's very compelling. Very incredible. Leo, thank you so much for the 50 bit. Thank you so much, Leo. Thanks, Leo. I'm so excited. So, yeah, we're, we're kind of reading up to Metal Gear Solid now. So We're, we're trying to, like, maximize our comprehension and enjoyment yeah. of the story here. So Are you, outer, you ready to read the second one? Outer Heaven is gone. Yeah. Big Boss is probably dead. Mm-hmm. Or, I don't know, we think. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake. 1999, the world was facing an energy crisis. It was obvious that the supply of petroleum would run out faster than expected. However, the development of an alternate energy resource is far from completion. The price of petroleum has skyrocketed, and the world economy is in confusion. The 21st century was expected to be one of chaos. One man's invention changed the entire situation. A Czech genius and biologist, Dr. Kio Marv, invented Oilix. Ooh. Oh, no? No, oh, that sounds good. Oh, Oilix, a microorganism that refines petroleum to produce a highly purified form of petroleum. The world, has, uh, the world was filled with hope upon the discovery of this messiah to solve the energy crisis, but at the same time, the world entered a time of tension regarding the new al- algae. Just when the whole world's attention was drawn to Oilix and Dr. Marv, he gets abducted by someone and disappears. Nations begin, uh, nations begin investigations immediately, and a name soon appeared, Zanzibar Land. A lot of these locations are fictitious, but fictitious, by the way. Mm, yeah, check. <laughs> um, Zanzibar Land was a democratic military regime that suddenly appeared in Central Asia in 1997. When their uprising took place, the CIS army formed around Russia sends a suppressive unit immediately. Zanzibar land resists by gathering a band of mercenaries from nations around the world and fortifying the most uh, fortifying most of its land. As a result, the CIS army was repeatedly defeated and Zanzibar land declared its independence. Due to the active role mercenaries played, this war was called the Mercenary War and Zanzibar land was referred to as an armed fortress nation. A military nation with a group of strong mercenaries surrounded by a tough fortress. According to the latest information, Zanzibar supposedly is armed with nuclear weapons. The whole scenario was crystal clear. By obtaining oil leaks in addition to nuclear weapons, Zanzibar land was trying to establish its economic and military superiority over the entire world. Concerned about the situation, the United States or- orders Roy Campbell commander-in-chief of high-tech special forces unit Foxhound to rescue Dr. Marv Campbell. Dr. Marv. Dr. Marv, period. Campbell was a former member of Foxhound. He brought back Solid Snake, the man who single-handedly brought down the armed fortress nation of Outer Heaven four years ago, and asks him to win back both Dr. Marv and Oilix. Successfully infiltrating Zanzibar land and with the help of CIA agent Hori and others, Snake is able to go deep into the fortress and meet again with Dr. Petrovich, the chief engineer of Metal Gear at Outer Heaven. He too was abducted, abducted to Zanzibar land and was forced to develop another Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Th- that's, a, that's the one that had the daughter? Ella, yeah, Ellen, or something? Ellen that was like hostage so he okay. would work. This guy can't catch a break. <laughs> he tells the surprise snake of, uh, he tells the surprise snake of an even more shocking fact, Big Boss. The man Snake had defeated at Outer Heaven turned out to be the general commander of Zanzibar Land. Got him. Snake rescues Dr. Petrovich in cooperation with Natasha, Dr. Marv's guard and former Czech international secret police agent. Oh, that's CIS. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was wondering too. And then heads for the confinement facility deep in the fortress to save Dr. Marv. When Petrovich and Natasha crossed the narrow suspension bridge over the deep valley, a missile blew the bridge away. Natasha flies into the air because of the explosion. Spies named Natasha. Yeah. Um, while unable to do anything to save Natasha, Snake starts hearing a well-known voice. Hey, Snake, we are good buddies. I can let you go. Just leave this place at once. Gray Fox. 
Snake sees Gray Fox controlling Metal Gear, the best soldier and foxhound who, after the fall of Outer Heaven, disappeared as if he followed Big Boss. Losing Natasha in front of his eyes and letting Petrovich getting, uh, being taken away, Snake screams, Fox, I will not give up. After a series of deadly battles with mercenaries, Snake finally gets to Dr. Marv's confinement facility. However, when he arrives, he is too late. He sees Dr. Marv's corpse and Petrovich, who could do nothing but just stand there. Petrovich tells Snake that Dr. Marv could not withstand the repeated tortures because of heart problems. Snake then receives an emergency call from Hori. The information she supplied was very shocking. Petrovich has been voluntarily oh. visiting Zanzibar land to develop Metal Gear. The abduction of Dr. Marv was conducted under the directions of Petrovich himself. After the truth comes out, Petrovich attacks Snake, but Snake easily puts an end to him and obtains the structural plan of Oilix. Dude. I knew it. Called it. I'm just kidding. I didn't call it. While trying to escape, Snake is conf confronted by Metal Gear again, controlled by Ge Gray Fox. The tremendous battle takes place in the underground base, and Snake finally succeeds in destroying Metal Gear. However, Gray Fox does not submit and challenges Snake to the final battle. In the midst of a minefield, Snake and Fox fight, without any weapons. A fist-to-fist -fist duel involving no hatred or murder intent. During that weird moment of purity, the two are bound in forces transcending words and emotion. This is kind of like the last game, right? There's like this, like, one, one v one, like epic. Yeah, thing. certainly there are recurring. Themes I was gonna in say, I think I maybe, I maybe uh, see that now. Snake wins the tough but pure battle against Gray Fox. However, there still was someone else Snake had to fight, Big Boss. Just like four years ago at Outer Heaven, Big Boss was waiting for Snake. One who has experienced the tension of battle can never leave the battlefield. I am the one giving you something to live for, and that is war. Snake is infuriated at the arrogant Big Boss. There's only one battle I have to fight. To free myself from you. To shatter the nightmare. Big Boss, I will kill you. With the structural plan of Oilix, Snake and Hori escape, to Zan escape from Zanzibar land on a rescue helicopter. Snake once again saves the world. However, there is no smile on his face. Big Boss is... Last words keep ringing in Snake's head. Whichever wins, our battle does not end. The loser is freed from the battlefield, but the winner must remain there. And the survivor must live his life as a warrior until he dies. Snake then disappears into the white lands of Alaska alone. Cool. Dude, after the next rainy rumble, I'm going to hit you with that quote. <laughs> 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 you're trapped yeah <laughs> the winner stays on the battlefield <laughs> epic yeah pretty epic yeah. yeah really good summer and each game ends with snake alone yeah a lot of stuff to keep in yeah. mind there solitary snake yeah <laughs> there it is is, there, is that there one? it is okay okay more preparation here this is the briefing all right everyone get your popcorn get your sodi pops oh i got my coffee here I believe this is 24 minutes long, and this is literally, you'll see, it's the briefing for this game, okay. the context for this game. Is it just going to be like, is like that talking kind of like screen? You'll see, you'll see. Okay, it's okay, pretty okay. cool. I think okay. it's really cool. I'm excited. Share the next Rini Rumble will be a 1v1 <laughs> fist fight, free of any hatred. Some weird, <laughs> pure <Yeah. laughs> <more> battle. <laughs> Dude, <I> can't. <laughs> the winner is trapped in battle. Yeah. <laughs> Trapped on the battlefield as a warrior for all of eternity. Uh, Enigma's ready to go. Let's do this. Briefing. Oops. Dang. Oh. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Let it play. I can't pause it, okay? You can't pause Absorb it. Absorb as much as you can. Okay. Oh. Audio level check. Let us know if we need to bump it. It's been a long time, Snake. That was a snake. I should have known you were behind this, Colonel. That big boss? No way to greet an old war buddy snake. Or a uh, fox. What Gray do you fox. want from me? Who was I it? just invited you here so we could have a talk. Invited? That's what you call sending armed soldiers after me? Sorry if they were a little rough with you. But we've got a serious situation here. Only you can get us out of it. I'm retired from Foxhound. Oh. You're not my commander anymore, and I don't have to take orders from you or anyone else. You will take these orders. 
I know it. Excuse me. Who's this? Dr. Naomi Hunter. She's chief of Foxhound's medical staff and an expert in gene therapy. Gene Are therapy? No, civilian. Jennifer I've been Hale. I sent here from ATGC. Pleasure to meet you, Snake. ATGC? Don't worry. Try this to remember as much as you can. Bit. What's the shot for? What's wrong? You don't like shots? Oh my god, never Snake, accept a shot from up. a stranger. It all went down five hours ago. Heavily armed soldiers occupied Shadow Moses Island, a remote island off the coast of Alaska. What soldiers? Next generation special forces led by members of Unit Foxhound. They've presented Washington with a single demand, and they say that if it isn't met, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. A nuclear weapon? I'm afraid so. You see, the island is the site of a secret nuclear weapons disposal. Foxhound facility. is threatening? Yeah. Foxhound hijacking a nuclear weapon? Now you understand how serious the situation is. This is as complicated as S.H.I.E.L.D. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, and the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. They're both being held as hostages. Those are some heavy duty hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to launch a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. Any questions, Snake? Questions? I haven't even said whether I'd accept this mission. Well, you can make up your mind after you hear more about the situation. So Foxhound is like fractured. Oh, wait. Whoa. I guess we can watch them in any order we want. Oh. Let's just go down the list. Okay, yeah. Okay, it's 24 minutes total. Okay, sounds Kay. good. So Foxhound is like, worse. this is Foxhound, a part of Foxhound, but there's a part of Foxhound that's also threatening and trying to get um, access Certainly. to uh, nuclear weapons. Certainly. Stuff. The question is, you're thinking is, what is Foxhound now? What is Foxhound now? Yeah. 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 Great question to have. Here we go. So we just had that. I'm just going to go in order. Okay. Oops. Colonel, I don't work for the government anymore. Wait. Oh. Oh, did you do that? Yeah, sorry. Oh, that's so fun. It does like a whole like... A whole tape thing? Yeah, yeah. tape, tape, even when you're trying to back out. I'm like... I keep swapping the confirm and cancel buttons. Is there an ideal order? Uh, okay, I'll just do that. Okay. Tell me about the nuclear weapon disposal facility. The disposal facility includes a hardened underground base. Even with our most advanced intelligence gathering equipment, we can't tell what's happening inside. So someone needs to penetrate, gather intelligence, and report back. Sounds like a spy movie. <laughs> what's the insertion method? Well, an air insertion is impossible. Not with this storm going on. We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. Approach? Yes. Are these actual espionage the terms? The Probably. Because I'm taking notes. Equipped with sonar detection capabilities. They'd be able to hear our engine or insertion methods. Yeah. And then we'll launch a one man SDV. Launch. Same as a torpedo. Only this has no propulsion device of its own. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. Yes. From there on, you'll have to swim. You want me to swim in sub zero Alaskan water? Don't worry. That suit represents the latest <laughs> advance. <in laughs> Snake is so over this. Technology. Yeah. Everything. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole What island. the F, Colonel? I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. On-site procurement. Top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Top secret black op. Don't, af yeah, don't expect ops, any official support. I never really knew. Off the record. That's what that you're means. You're breaking some laws, committing some war crimes, probably. Black oh, I don't know, maybe not necessarily, but it's just like, yeah, if you get caught. Like, do what you got to do, no matter what the means, as yeah, long as we get to the end. It's more like, it's off the record. If you get caught, we're going to deny our involvement oh. and leave you hanging kind of thing. Like, we had nothing to do with it. You're on your own. Black Ops. Okay. Now, I'll just take a note to Storm Team Cherry's offices. Yeah, what's the what's the <laughs> insertion method here? We're going yeah. through the front door? Kicking down the front door. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Took song! Sending an email. <laughs> 
What's the time limit? 24 hours. They say they'll launch after 24 hours. Do they say what the target will be? So far, they haven't mentioned the target. What? When did the countdown start? That they'll launch a nuke? Five hours yeah. ago. Oh. He's doing the math. <laughs> That's less than 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you speaking for? Naturally, I'm representing the U.S. I'm controlling the camera. Oh, you are? Supervisory yeah. Supervisory control of this operation. The President of the United States. Which means that the President must be meeting with his top aides in the map room about now, huh? No. At this point, they're still video conferencing with each other. If that's a real nuclear warhead, shouldn't they issue a COG? Not yet. The Secretary of COG. Defense has operational control and is fully aware of the situation. After you infiltrate, if you determine they possess nuclear launch capabilities, a COG will be issued. Pellegrin with the raid! Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for the raid! We can't pause this, sorry. I suppose Penguin no raid! Is the National Security Agency We're in the middle of the yes. briefing. So is the DIA. Thank you for the raid. Defense Thank you so much. One second. And DIA. Thank you so much, Pellegrin. About this. They'll be sending us Pelican? some support. We don't need death jockeys. We need a nuclear weapons specialist. Of course. A nuclear weapons specialist has already been assigned to us. Okay. Cool. Thank you very much for the raid. Thank you so much. Danelli, welcome, welcome. And Pelican, how are you doing? What were you playing before this? Thank you for um, being here. Thank we're, you we're again. Playing, we're starting Metal Gear Solid 1 for the PlayStation 1 on a PlayStation 1. Mm -hmm. This is Audrey's first playthrough. Yeah. I haven't played it for a little while, but I'm a big fan of the series. We're getting briefed um, yeah. on before even starting the game. This uh, kind of lengthy briefing. So. Yeah, pretty satisfying that they have this. Yeah, and share. See how much better this briefing video looks with the CRT scan line? It's such a cool look. It is a cool Hopefully look. Hopefully it's coming across well on your streams. Yeah. Usually I those repeated patterns can oh. get kind of garbled. So you may have to full screen if it okay. looks like really, we'll really bad. We'll stand at, or we'll sit as perfectly still as possible. Oh, COG is a tough one to Google, but I think it's Coalition of Governments. Oh. Gotcha. So why not? Yeah, why not contact the COG or something like that? As in, like, because it, it's a threat to the entire uh, world. Yeah. Why yeah. not notify? Get this international or something? Yeah. Okay. 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 Support crew, because Snake just asked about like we don't need desk jockeys, we need a nuclear weapons specialist. Right. And the commander was like, "We got one. We've been assigned one." And so we don't. We're about to find out who that is. We need backup from a specialist. I'm just an amateur when it comes to nuclear weapons. I know. <laughs> That's why I've requested the assistance oh! of a military analyst named Nastasha Romanenko. She'll be providing you backup by codec. I love a this. Female analyst? She's built up an impressive record Chernobyl. as an advisor. For Wait, don't we know Nastasha? Why is he acting this like is he didn't know? This is Nastasha. Oh, Nastasha. Oh, I see. My bad. She's also an expert on high-tech weapons. Where is she working from? At her home in Los Angeles. California. <laughs> Seems like a million miles away. Okay. Nastasha. Nastasha? She's a... Nuclear weapons specialist. Yeah. Do you remember the name Roy Campbell? Uh, yes. Colonel, you're retired. Why are you involved? Oh, this is Roy. Because there aren't many yeah. people who know Foxhound as well as I. So he was the commander of Kyber. Foxhound in Metal Gear 2. I've been soldiering mm. for a long time. I don't know anything else. I guess even though I'm getting a little old, I still love to be in the field. Colonel, you're a lousy liar. Tell me the real reason. Okay, Snake. Sorry. I'll be frank. A person very dear to me mm. is being held hostage. Who is it? My niece, Meryl. Meryl! I know the name Meryl. <laughs> how, and how come these people, we keep getting into these hostage situations? <laughs> Ready. What was your niece doing here? Several soldiers were reported missing the day of the revolt. And my niece was one of those called in as an emergency replacement. She looks like you. She's my little brother's girl. 
He died in the Gulf War. And since then, I've been watching after her. A personal motive, Colonel. That's not very <laughs> soldierly. I'm retired. <laughs> Are you reading that? <laughs> yeah, I am. And I'm Has your friend. Not since to be attracted to those of the opposite sex. I've thought Psychotherapy, yeah. Since the fall of Zanzibar. With my personality, I don't have too many friends. That's what I trust about you. It's what makes you human. Please, Snake. Save my niece, Meryl. All right. But I have two conditions. Name them. One, no more secrets between us. I want complete disclosure at all times. And two, I'll only accept orders directly from you, Colonel. No cutoffs involved, okay? Love it. That's reasonable. Love those Agreed. demands. Yeah. That's why I was called. But one thing. What? I'm not a colonel anymore. Just a retired old war horse. I understand. Colonel. Aww. Dude, that little smile right there, too. Oh, I did? The effect for this is really awesome because it's not like real-time live yeah. video. It's yeah. really cool animation. <laughs> Very comic book they put? <laughs> did they put that uh, Meryl has received psychotherapy so that she's not attracted to the opposite sex? So that if, if, she, if, if uh, she does, you know, flirt with Snake, it's like all the more... You know, impressive. It's, like, it's, oh, okay. it's it's for her soldier training for to remove any yeah. risk of any, yeah. Yeah, I get. It. Okay. There was also something above that I missed it, but oh, it oh, oh. um, yeah, she was eighteen. Oh, no real combat experience, no, but she had VR. VR training. Yeah, VR training. Yeah. Um, I wish more of the game looked like this. Honestly, always loved the briefing. It's, it's pretty. pretty awesome. It's, it's yeah. my first time going through it. They redo this in the Twin Snakes GameCube version, and it has like the full. Oh. The real-time graphics. Oh, okay. So I, I'm really glad we're going through the original version of the game. Yeah. You, Cher, that's what, <laughs> where I was getting. He's so hot that even psychotherapy can't stop the opposite sex. <laughs> Feels like, you know, kind of, you know, kind of epic. That doctor, is she part of this operation too? She was in charge of Foxhound's gene therapy. She knows more about those men than anyone else. You mean you've seen them naked? Make no mistake, I'm not a nurse. I'm a scientist. By the way, <laughs> what was that injection for? It's a combination of nanomachines and an anti-freezing peptide so that your blood and other bodily fluids don't freeze, even at sub-arctic temperatures. Nanomachines? Not just one kind, either. There are different types which will replenish the supply of adrenaline, nutrition, and sugar in your bloodstream. You're doping. Uh, now I don't have to worry about food. I also put some nootropics in there. Say what? Nootropics. A class of drugs which will help improve your mental functioning. It'll make me smarter, huh? Anything else? Yes. Benzedrine. It's a type of stimulant. It'll keep you alert and responsive for 12 Whoa. seconds. Whoa! That was quite a cocktail. Anything else in there? Those nanomachines will also keep your codex batteries charged up. Well, I guess I can call you when I'm ready to go on a diet. You're welcome. Okay. What year is this? Did they tell us? Because Metal Gear 1 was 1994. Uh, Metal Gear 2 was 1999. Uh, we're, we're, we must be two. Oh, because they said, I think they said like Meryl was born in 2000. Or so she says, they said something about 2005, I think. Oh, okay, okay. So I don't know. It must be something after that. Okay. Here we go. Hey, hostages. Plural. Chief of DARPA and the president of an arms manufacturing company. What business did they have at a nuclear weapons disposal facility? It was like Don and Donald Anderson, Kenneth Baker. Conducted at the time the terrorist group attacked. Must be extremely important exercises if those two were directly involved. Were they testing some kind of new advanced weapon? I'm not privy to that information. Do we know exactly where they're it's being? Gonna held? be Metal Gear. <laughs> the DARPA chief has also been injected with the mini transmitter. As you get closer, you should be able to pick up his location on your radar. Man, they're shooting everyone up with all sorts of things. This is just very the future of warfare, kind of like fantasy. Yeah. 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 Do they really have the ability to launch a nuclear missile? They say they do. They even gave us the serial number of the warhead they plan to use. Was the number confirmed? I'm afraid so. Dude. At the very least, they've got their hands on a real nuclear warhead. 
Isn't there some kind of safety device to prevent this type of terrorism? Yes. Every missile and warhead in our arsenal is equipped with a PAL, which uses a discrete detonation code. PAL. Permissive action link. Mm. The safety control system built into all nuclear weapon systems. But even so, we can't rest mm. easy. Why not? Because the DARPA chief knows the detonation code. <laughs> But even if they have a nuclear warhead, it must have been removed from its missile. All the missiles on these disposal sites are supposed to be dismantled. It's not that easy to get your hands on an ICBM. Intercontinental ballistic missile. That used to be true. But since the end of the Cold War, you can get anything if you have enough money and the right connections. Damn. Snake's just like, ugh. But he knows his stuff. Yeah. To ask all the right questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, sure, pal. Every nuclear weapons... <laughs> Even nuclear weapons get region locked in this reality. Yep. yep. <laughs> the terrorists' armament. Armament. What am I going to be How facing? How well armed are these terrorists? Mm. I know there was an exercise going on at the time they revolted. They're heavily armed, I'm afraid. What about their battle experience? The six members of Foxhound in charge are all hardened veterans. They're tough enough to <laughs> careful. Eat nails are you? <laughs> Move the camera. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less from Foxhound. The others are next generation special forces. They're not your average grunts either. So six members of Foxhound. Six members. And their next generation soldiers are what we're facing. Okay. So what exactly are they demanding? Here we go. A person's remains. What? Remains. That's right. What? To be more Gray active, Fox? Cell specimens which contain the individual's Wait, is Gray Fox dead? information. Cell specimens? Why would they want that? The doctor? The terrorists need them. You see, these next generation special forces have been strengthened through gene therapy. Strengthened? You've heard of the Human Genome Project. They've been mapping the human genome, and they're nearly finished. Following up on this research, the military has been working towards identifying those genes which are responsible for making effective mm -hmm. soldiers. There are genes that do that? Yes. And using gene therapy, they're able to transplant those genes into regular soldiers. Gene therapy? I'll explain this part. With gene therapy, we can remove those genes which we know may lead to sickness or disease, and at the same time, splice in genes with beneficial effects, such as resistance to cancer, for example. In other words, we can overcome all sorts of genetic diseases, and at the same time, add genetic characteristics mm -hmm. as desired. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so if you knew what genes were responsible for making the perfect soldier, you could implant them in the same way, right? Yes, we could. But it all depends on being able to isolate and identify those soldier genes. And in order to do that, it's helpful if you can study the genomic information of one of the greatest soldiers ever. Oh. Big Boss? Or Gray Fox? It gotta be Gray Fox. Fox. It's got, right? Wait, they're both dead. Or yeah. dead, quote unquote. Yeah, Konami code to move the camera at the <laughs> end of Metal Gear 2. Sure, got what I was uh, getting at. Warrior of the 20th century. You don't mean Big Boss. Oh, Big Boss. Okay. That's right. We've been working feverishly to identify the genes responsible for his incredible combat skill. So far, we've discovered about 60 of the so-called soldier genes. So his body was recovered after all. Yes, and his cells have remained frozen in a cryo chamber. His genomic information is a priceless treasure to mankind. Priceless to the military, perhaps. Mm -hmm. His body was burned severely, but it was possible to restore his DNA profile from just a single strand of his hair. You people are amazing. <laughs> and then you're going to transplant those genes into soldiers? Yes. We'll use a process that I discovered called gene targeting. The strongest soldiers don't become what they are by acquiring their skills through training or experience. We now know that hereditary factors are far more crucial for creating superior soldiers. Snake. We can't give them his body. It's potentially more dangerous than all the nuclear warheads on that island put together. Mm. I hear the terrorists are calling themselves the Sons of Big Boss. Oh. The Sons of Big Boss. <laughs> Stakes like, that's cringe. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I really Ew. feel like Stake is over all this. <laughs> He's like, I just, well, What's I'm up with done. These names? Yeah. <laughs>
Tell me about these next generation special forces. They started out as an anti-terrorist special ops unit, made up of former members of biochem units, technical escort units, and a nuclear emergency search team. Their purpose was to respond to threats involving next generation weapons of mass destruction, including NVC weapons. Until they were added, that is. Who's they? Ooh. These guys didn't start out as regular army. Looks like a pretty international group. Mercenaries? Yeah, and it gets worse. Most of them were from a Merc agency that I think you're familiar with. They were part of Big Boss's private guard. And after Big Boss went down, the military just bought out all their contracts. Outer heaven. After that, mm. they were merged with our own VR unit, Force 21, and retrained. If you ask me, these so-called next generation special forces should be called simulated soldiers. They have no real battle experience. Video game players, huh? <laughs> Don't forget <laughs> what if he just looks at the camera? Oh, he's kind of looking at the camera. Yeah. They carry genes which make them excellent soldiers. Don't get careless just because they don't have much experience. Meryl, huh? Meryl's one of them. I thought using genetically modified soldiers was prohibited by international law. Yes, but those are just declarations, not actual treaties. The interesting thing is that nearly every member of the unit conspired in this attack. The S-O-B-B's. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why can't I be finding someone with a cooler name this time? <laughs> yeah, remember back in the day, we used to be named after animals. <laughs> the reason for unanimous approval. How could this is like CRISPR stuff, but yeah, not, yeah. not embryos, obviously. A revolution. Since they all went through the same gene therapy, they probably felt closer than brothers. They see the unit as their only family. The sons of Big Boss. But if they were regular army, they must have been interviewed periodically by army counselors. According to their files, they all got straight A's on their psychological tests. They all seemed like fine, upstanding, patriotic soldiers. But they all took part in the uprising? No. Several people didn't show up on the day of the exercise. That's why there was a resupply of troops. Was there any sign recently that something might be wrong? There was a report a month ago that they were acting strangely. Apparently, they consulted classified information about the soldier genes and performed their own gene therapy oh. experiments. Whoa. They can do that even without you? Well, our gene therapy process is almost completely automated. And besides that, they're all geniuses with IQs over 180. Dang. Even the existence of this genome army is a national secret of the highest order. Dude. <laughs> We've been hoping to investigate this thing quietly and deal with it behind closed doors. Well, Whoa. Now there's a nuclear threat for the entire world. Like Planet of the Apes, <laughs> the experiment. All right, th this was the question you had in the beginning. What is Foxhound now? Okay, yeah. You said it was six. High Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit. Ooh. The one that I was a commander of. An elite group combining firepower and expertise. They're every bit as good as when I was commanding them. So they're still. So they're, they're his peers. There He's going to know exactly who they are. Right? Involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis. Oh! You were talking about the animals. Sniper Wolf. A beautiful and deadly. Okay, okay. Let's go. Koi Octopus. Master of Disguise. Vulcan. Yes! Raider, giant and Shaman. This revolver ocelot. Revolver ocelot. Interrogation and a formidable. There's an ocelot. Looks like a lovely bunch of folks. It's a small mammalian creature. Under these circumstances. I believe. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. What? Yes. And you're the only person who can stand against him. Oh no! Oh, they're different. Okay. Hey, Dirge, what's up? They hey, all sound like Dirge. Mega Man bosses, Sherry? Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay, who's this Liquid Snake? You're giving me chills going back to this game. Dude, I love the the tease. This is what's coming up yeah, for it's you. It's so hyper dramatic. Snake. I love it. Liquid Snake. The man with the same code name as you. They have the same code Tell name. Tell me what you know. He fought in the Gulf War. Well, he should know these the people, right? The youngest person in the SAS. His job was to track down and destroy mobile Scud missile launching platforms. You were there too, I believe. 
Didn't you infiltrate Western Iraq with a platoon of Green Berets? I was just a kid myself back then. Uh, the details are classified, but it seems that originally he penetrated the Middle East as a sleeper for the SIS. He was a spy for the British Secret Intelligence Service? But he never once showed his face in Century House. He was taken prisoner in Iraq, and after that there was no trace of him for several years. After you retired, he was rescued and became a member of Foxhound. I thought that by the time I left, they were no longer using code mm. names. Mm. Oh, so this was I don't know after his, his time. Name. That information is so highly classified that even I can't look at it. Here's a photo of him. <gasps> Pretty shocking, huh? His skin tone is different, but otherwise you two what? are exact duplicates. This is not a coincidence. I you have a twin? I don't know the details, but it seems so. That's why we really need you for this mission. Wait, why? You're the only one who can beat him. Oh. Now that I've met you, I know. You got something that he doesn't. I can see it in your eyes. Why don't I find that thought more comforting? <laughs> <laughs> the bot, the the villain looks exactly like you. You're perfect for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need to make this as dramatic as possible. Come on. Blossom, you're Still right. Blossom snake. says, "Getting ahead of myself here, but Liquid Snakes, voice acting is glorious." Yeah, for sure. Okay. Sure. Yeah, this is really good voice acting for 1998. Yeah, I it's totally really agree. Good. Is this before or after Silent Hill 2? <laughs> this must be before. This huh? must be before. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's really good. It's Jennifer great. Hale, one of my favorites. Oh, that's Jennifer Hale? Yeah, I said earlier. For no, the, oh, sorry, I missed that. Yeah. <gasps> Jennifer mm -hmm. Hale. That's it. We did all the briefing. Okay. It went by fast. It yeah. was so packed full of information. I'm glad we did it. It was fun. Okay, so we don't. We still don't know exactly why this group um, is threatening with the nuclear weapon. We well, just, they made demands. Yeah, they made they made demands. Oh, for the body, the remains of Big Boss. Oh yeah. Oh, of for, which they oh, want to the use to therapy. enhance their gene therapy yeah. for their soldiers. Oh yeah. That, okay, that's it then. They just want to become stronger, bigger, yeah. better, stronger, and they're smart. They're smart enough to do it too. Yeah. Do you feel prepared? I feel like we got info dump, but it just hearing you re react to everything, I feel like you're absorbing a lot of it. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it's actually pretty easy to follow and the presentation There's, was fun yeah there are certainly a lot of names but mm -hmm. it's okay i think that's okay um yeah so we got we got um we got juiced up yeah so we're all i don't know if that's the same as gene therapy no I don't think gene so. therapy is more uh, effective or yeah. maybe more but yeah. a little bit better okay so we've made a lot of advancements in real life since 1998 in terms of genetics yeah so this is in an era of it's this is total sci-fi Oh my god. So But, but it's fun sci-fi. <laughs> you think for the sure. people who are like working on the CRISPR stuff is like, hey, have you played Metal Gear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> Metal Gear for sure. Some of the stuff is fantasy until it becomes a reality. Yeah. For sure. All right. I need to take a really quick break before we hop right into the okay. game, but we're gonna start the game proper. Okay. Right after this break. Sounds good. Okay, Shall we'll be we right back, guys. Go to BRB. All right. Yeah, we'll be RB. Be right back. Thank you. And we're back. We're back. Thank you for your patience. Thank All you. right, let's hop. Right in. Yeah. Start um, the game proper. Sounds good. Blossom says Kojima has to be involved in top secret government or something. It's just crazy how the stuff in Metal Gear is ahead of the curve. Yep. Sounds crazy until a few years later after release and you're like, oh, I already heard about that in a game. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty interesting, actually. Uh, and I know there have been a couple of occasions. Oops. I need to borrow your scissors. Oh. oh. What are you going to do? Don't worry. Just going to clean myself up a little. Huh? Oh, haircut? I don't want to be mistaken for the leader of the terrorists. Dude, sweet. We, I think we got a bonus little clip because we watched them all. Oh, really? Because I was, I selected exit. Oh, he's so cool. That's so awesome. Just imagine just like him, like hacking at his hair. Yeah, that was awesome. That was wow. Cool. Oh, so here's the VR training. You can do like simulated. Oh, nice. So like they were referencing v the soldiers have VR training, but like we can do it too. Mm. It's very. It's very fun in that way. Um, I was going to say how there have been a couple occasions within, I don't know, within the past year or so or more where you're like, where you have said to me, like something happened or we watched something and you're like, man, that's so Metal Gear. And yes. I'm like, I don't know what you mean, but uh, okay, cool. You'll have that context too now. Hopefully. There's an entire separate disc of VR training puzzles yep. too? 
Yeah. VR missions, separate oh, game that was released. Fun. Um, as I mentioned, duo streams, we try to focus on the story and our enjoyment and comprehension of it and discussing it with each other and with chat. As a result of that, I did look it up and there's no major, there's no story differences between the difficulties, yeah. which there can be in some games. Yeah. This or that exclusive cutscene or whatever. Sure. So we are just going to be playing it on easy. Let's do it. We generally, you know, try not to judge people's preferences for difficulty when they choose. Play how you want to play. Yeah. All good. So we're going to play on easy. I'm ready. Okay. Dang. When the game opens up with like. Oh, you know what? Vocals. We're missing something here. Uh oh, what? I'm resetting the game. Oh, you're resetting the game. So we started the game, and there's a cutscene. Oh, damn it! <gasps> uh oh. This is Snake. Okay. Colonel, can you hear me? <laughs> Loud and clear. Damn it! Should I? Can you uh go yeah. to the our like other screen? Scene? Yes. Starting screen. <laughs> okay. Are we there? Yeah, we're there. Re redo. Okay. Um, what 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 happened there? You know the cutscene that plays. When, when you're just you, waiting oh, when on, you the idle on the screen, yeah, yeah, on the title screen, that is relevant and it oh. plays. It plays before the start. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Cool. Um, last save point. Hey, how's it going? I'm so yeah, excited. Yeah, you can go into this. the game now. I know you just went through yeah, your last save point. Metal Gear, Metal Gear, and Metal Gear Solid, or was it just Metal Gear Solid? Metal Gear Solid, but he played all, all of them. Dude, <laughs> last save point. That's awesome. I'm Thanks so for being here. Last save point. Um, I feel like some stories are enhanced to some de degree by being harder, but Metal Gear probably isn't one of them. Gotcha, Blossom. Mm -hmm. Is the gameplay not much of a focus that holds up in Metal Gear Solid or something? The gameplay is great okay. in Metal Gear Solid, and it does hold up. Yeah. But the difficulty just increases, like, enemy health and all that, and how much damage you take. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we kind of don't want to... We will still have enjoyment of certain aspects of the gameplay and the easier difficulty, the stealth in particular, mm -hmm. but... um. We just don't want to struggle. So here it is. Here we go. So this actually plays before the opening cutscene. It's kind of fun that this takes place on Earth, on our real Earth, and mm -hmm. it's like, you know, kind of a fantasy version of of uh, our Earth. Remember insertion method? Yes. Uh, something. By submarine. Yeah. But we can't get too close because <laughs> the vehicle. island has um has sonar. So they're going to eject him. Weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island. Shadow Moses Island. island. Have we heard that yet? Yes was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that This the is very cinematic. Remains yep. a big boss. And they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, they even they credit the voice actor in the Yeah, yeah it's a tradition for the whole series. They always do that. Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. And stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then we'll launch a one-man SD. Oh, there it is. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. This is Alaskan waters. Yep. Sub zero temperatures. But he has I the take injection. Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this <laughs> terrorist yes. activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. This is awesome. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Oscar. And Chill Penguin, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and a formidable yeah. gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound Squad Leader. Liquid, Liquid snake. snake. Liquid Snake. The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP? Yes. 
This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Does the This is a cutscene that happens before you even start the game, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Does the descriptor have any like what does solid snake mean? What does solid mean? What does liquid mean? Like psychomantis. I mean they said he we'll kinda see. has like Psychic abilities or something. They're certainly that. fun names, at the very least. Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, I didn't know war was about fun. <laughs> fun names. Um, I guess, truthfully, most of the briefing is in this cutscene, but still fun to watch. Yeah, it was fun yeah. to watch. I think it, it was it like kind a of, summary of it, yeah. Yeah, it it, it was uh, more fleshed out. In the actual briefing. And the context of it was cool. Yeah, and Jimmy's here. How are you doing, Sailor Jimmy? Hey, Jimmy. Solid must mean he thick? Yep, that's probably it. What does this mean? The song don't is know. iconic, too, dude. This song is iconic? For this game. Oh, okay, I, I don't think I've heard it. Just these vocals here. So even this like kind of credits like thing feels... Very cinematic, you're right. Yeah. You, they need one of those um, like in the um, James Bond films, like uh, exposition music video. Uh, oh. Maybe not exposition, but like that music video opening scene where it's like... <laughs> He'll be through here. Down a of flies. Um, that's gotta be. There was someone who grew up in England, or something. Rescue who who was a prisoner of war in Iraq. They were talking about liquid. Oh, that was liquid. Oh, yeah. so this is probably Just liquid. To re remind you that. Yeah, that's liquid right there. You can't really tell that he looks alike though. Yeah, so that's that's why I'm here. I want to hear Audrey's predictions. Do not confirm or deny, of course. Okay, as usual. I have a I have a prediction after this. This is Snake, Colonel. I have to be careful not to press any buttons during this. It's easy to accidentally skip. Oh, okay. Snake, looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is one four zero point eight five. This um when you want is so use iconic. The codec, mm -hmm. Push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. Whoa! No one but you will be able to hear love it. it. I love that they address that. Yeah. Okay. It's like don't I'm don't worry. This is a secure line. Mm -hmm. Um, I kind of have a prediction. Sure. The uh, six foxhound folks, they're trying to recover Big Boss's body. We, I think we assume it's because, and uh, it's cool that the credits are still going here. Yeah. Uh, we assume it's because they want to beef up more, but maybe they're so big brained because of the gene therapy, they want to prevent others, others from using it. They're the good Could guys. Could be, yeah. They're the good ones. Yeah. They're the good foxhound. Could be. Anyway, that's I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, say one that. thing we need to do is use the codec a lot because okay. there's a lot of dialogue you can miss. Yeah. Okay. Snake, you have to crawl to get Wait, through did there. you? Did he call you? He or? called us. Yeah. Down by pressing the crawl button and then use the directional button to crawl. In the so this is when want. it knows you're struggling. Be yeah. careful though. Crawling is slow and you can't attack when you're doing it either. You can stand up by pressing the crawl button again. <laughs> I would love if Snake we can manually change the oh. frequency. Press up to call. Snake, you have to How crawl fun is that? So if we're gonna get several different uh, few, uh, like lines, right? Like, oh, if you want to talk to this person. I think so. How fun! And then memory is just your phone button. Nice. Oops. Confirm button. Uh, Sailor Jimmy. Here's the thing about Hideo Kojima. He's absolutely nuts. Yep. I think he he's uh, maybe he's uh, has he's ambitious. Certainly. And will does he execute it well? I'm excited to find out. Love opening credits during gameplay. Yeah, sure. I was thinking that too. I was like, this this feels cool. Metal Gear can crawl. Yeah. <laughs> Oxygen. We're going to get a shine spark soon up in here. Kojima really wanted to push video games into a more cinematic style. Uh, that was my impression of his, I don't know, um, philosophy or his approach. Two, and I I think I'm into that. Yeah, if you know Hideo Kojima, Kojima is a very brilliant man. I love his work. Um, 
Yeah, I... God, he pulls here. I, um, I don't know... I don't think I've actually specifically... Oh, crap! My bad. Already I effed it up. Whoa, you're just going in. Well, I messed up. God, I was, I'm trying yes, to remember the controls. we got our first... We're gonna die. We got our first alert. We're gonna die, let's just die. What? What? Okay. I was just trying to figure out the controls. Safe? I was trying to crouch. There's a lot of stuff Snake? to explain to you for the controls here. Snake. Oh, oh, he's doing it. Snake. Snake. This um, I got this it. text is really cool. I love yeah. I love that. So I was trying. I, you can press up against the wall to like flatten up against yeah. it. Yeah. And I was trying to crouch up against the wall, but I accidentally pressed the button and I knocked on the wall to get enemies' attention. Oh, you made it. So this it is down? primarily a <gasps> stealth game. Oh. Crouching. If you're wet, you leave footprints and the yeah. enemies notice that. <gasps> oh, that's fun. You can't be too loud. They'll investigate where you last made a sound. Yeah. You're distracting enemies okay. and stuff like that. I knew this was a stealth game. I didn't know uh, all the mechanics of it, but yeah. all that stuff sounds really fun. So I was pressing, I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Um, Kyber says, y'all should be playing this with bone conduction headphones. <laughs> yeah, if crazy. once the technology Damn hits. It. Yeah. What is the button? Okay. Oh. Oh. It's the attack button to knock. Okay. Yeah, just gotta get that ration again. All good. So rations are healing item we can manually consume. Okay. But if we have it equipped right here, it's on the screen. Quick. If we die, it auto consumes. Oh, perfect. So but if we put it away, it doesn't do that. You're gonna want it open. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna ignore that call since we know. See, get, it goes away as soon as you do it. Do they get mad if you uh, ignore their calls? Maybe. I don't know. So this water is puddle here, dude. Oh, that's a puddle. Yeah. I thought it was um, an opening to a, a lower floor. Ah, uh, I can see that, yeah. So we have the radar here that helps. Okay, I was going to say I wish it was zoomed out a little more, but yeah, you have that. Uh, oh, boy. Okay, so... Nice. Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You better hide somewhere. What's what's the button? <laughs> Is it not in the elevator? Is there a button to activate the elevator? Uh Or do I just have to survive long enough and that then it'll come down? None of my buttons are doing anything for it. Okay. There's no like action button. You want to call back? See, w see what he said? He said you'll just have to wait. So he didn't oh. say press a button. Okay. So I'm guessing walking over here triggers it and then we have to wait. Oh, okay. Enemy? Are there any other, yeah, items? Hey. You can only carry two, it looks like. Yeah. Water here. Oh! Budge! He heard that, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. When does it... So does that mean... Um, you're he's, actively he's on alert or something? Yeah, he was. Okay. There it is. Ah. But it also brings with it another soldier. You don't want to call back too soon or it'll seem too desperate? Okay, yeah, exactly. got it. You got to wait a couple days? This is interesting. So there's like a um, time moving aspect. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, the soldiers have like their routes and stuff. <gasps> this is too intense. I don't think I could have played this. It is pretty intense. Later, dude. Yeah, is no one gonna think that's strange that uh, the elevator is moving? Maybe not. Oh, you did it! You cleared. You cleared that floor. First area, yeah. Yeah. Is there a way to play this game without killing anybody? Hoo <laughs> Yes. Okay. Cool. There's lethal I, and non-lethal ways. Yeah, I remember. I thought maybe that. I knew that of maybe the later Shit, games. I didn't know if all games were like that. Look at that. this. What's going on? Fit change? Yeah, he's taking off all the. Uh, all the. The diving stuff. Yeah. Yes. Are we? We're gonna leave it there. I mean, there's the character reveal. The haircut. Ah. The first look at him. Right. So I know in the later games he has an eye patch. Dude, don't 
throw all those thoughts away. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> I I just remember he has one. Throw all of those thoughts away. But yes, something like that. <laughs> well, I'm just noting that he doesn't have one here. First try. That's right, sure. <laughs> They use that blur effect a lot. Oh, blur effect. Okay. During the cinematics. I'll point it out when we see it again. Here? Not here. Here? Well, there was a little bit right there. Okay. There's some right here. We're on the surface now. Okay. Code. Yeah, Enigma, I thought he had white hair in the briefing videos. I, I so did I. Idea. It looked I'm in front of the at least very facility. light. That took a long time. I guess you're feeling a little rusty. That's Don't like actually because of me. A while, but it's all coming back oh, wait. Could, would the dialogue be different? The game adapts yeah. to how you play. I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle up Yeah, there. put a sweater on, Snake. Anti-freezing <laughs> peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Nice, a distraction. Two fighter jets. Love that flash. Behind D. Behind D. Colonel. Behind? What's the Russian gunship uh -oh. doing here? That's iconic I have line. No idea. Why? I'm guessing a hind D is a real type of I Russian so. aircraft. I think so. Pretty cool. The vibration oh. is uh, pretty sweet in this game. Hey, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Glass Emperor. Cable knit sweaters aren't stealth friendly. They could get caught. You've got awesome. to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly a hind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military <laughs> technology to be so cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the oh! next 18 hours. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I am getting a James Bond vibe here. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn. Ooh! Yeah. I see. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle okay. is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make oh, sure these are even these are the yeah, the these are the next generation out. soldiers. Infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Oh wait, we have Whatever the GPS information you can from him about the terrorists. Nanomachines if he's alive, too. That yeah. Is. I didn't That's know. That's what's like giving us like the adrenaline and maintaining our. I didn't know it had ours had GPS. Affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. There's yeah. tracking on the DARPA it chief, easily, and afraid. it shows up in our system. Yeah, I remember. I remember that. I didn't know we had those too, though. That's how they're all watching me. I feel uncomfortable now. Resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by there radar. Is. So contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up. So call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Okay, M. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. 
My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Oh! Don't How Remember, fun. except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a <gasps> strip search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. Doctor! Way, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to <laughs> smuggle out my cool. smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? <laughs> you never know. So it's going to be rewarding to constantly codec everyone. Sorry, it's going it's moving by itself. Okay. This game is sexually charged. If you yeah. want to get in, there's the front door. I'll say. The game's doing it, not me. Okay. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. Pineapples. Grenades. Oh. <gasps> I'm learning a lot of lingo today. There's a ton of jargon in this game. Yeah. But it's fun, dude. What about the air duct near the door? Yeah, at his feet, you see it. There should also be a duct on the second ah. floor. Ah. You really got to pay attention. Yeah. I can't see it from here. I remember some of this stuff, so. Okay. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. <laughs> yeah, sure. This game is hornier than Seven Remake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is. It is. Definitely. It is. Time to go to someone get some smokes, okay, Nigmas? <laughs> you didn't store any in your stomach, and yeah. Clacy. Clacy's here. We summoned Clacy. <laughs> we, we said the, we said uh, horny three times, and that and the Clacy. Yes. Yeah. How are you doing, Clacy? Thanks for being here. Yeah, sorry, share. I think the codec calls. You don't see them. The visuals are just for us. They they just hear Ooh. each other. Yeah. So we have yeah. some yeah um, some sort of radar that we're going off of. Is that what that is? Oh oh wait oh the portraits during the codec calls. Oh that yeah. oh gotcha. That's just gotcha. for us I think. Okay. Um. Yeah, Glass Ember, good in instincts. This entire series very sexually charged. For sure. Okay. Okay. Rated yeah. For mature. Not unlike the um, yeah, 007 or uh, the James Bond. Yeah, seriously. Movies. Uh, literally the first thing I heard yeah, when I universe. just because Clacy just knew the universe just beckoned knew. you. <laughs> a hard mode? They take away your radar? Yeah, there are, there are oh. many ways to make the game harder, including um, wow, but the future games for sure. Yeah, interesting. But then how does she? He know she's cute. I think he was going off the voice. Going Unless someone voice. can correct me, my understanding is that the codec they don't see each other. He was just going off voice. Uh, maybe going off the voice. Yeah. So let's do a mailing call real quick to um save the game. What's up, Snake? It is, even if you don't need a save, anytime you encounter any new situation, a new zone, it can t eat up a lot of time, but calling everyone, there's just so much extra dialogue. Oh, I'm games. sure. I feel like that would be something I would want to do. Snake, remember what the girl said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You're right. Wow, you know all sorts of great <laughs> quotes, don't you? Well, both my parents are from Guangdong, China, but I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kind of keeps me in touch. I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. I'm looking forward to it. But to tell you, Ooh! Truth, I'd like to learn more <laughs> about you. This is spicy, man. I'll think about it. Love it. Okay. Love it. Yeah. Snake has more game than Cloud, though. <laughs> yeah. We gotta be, Snake, let's be real. Your mission is to infiltrate, not to fight. Don't let the enemy see you. Yeah. You didn't waste any time in getting spotted, did you? Too bad. Looks like your cover is blown. Uh-oh. Oh, he's just talking about how we got caution. spotted earlier. Ah. First, you <gasps> rescue the DARPA chief. Infiltrate the building in front. Look for some way to It's just a warning. It's not like we didn't, we didn't break right. the playthrough or anything. Got you. Snake has spit in that game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Snake has already had several great, uh, I don't know, pickup so, We do have the line, Not even pickup lines. Just smooth. But the doctor came in strong. I don't have a, I don't have a favorite girl yet. So you see the spotlight right here? 
on this uh ooh. Yeah, the one you're about to run into. Yeah, there's delicious item right in the middle. You saw it. Oh. Run in, run out, same side. Oh, oh! no. Dude, you s freaked me out. You freaked me out. I am too manic for a stealth game. I think I'm just Oh, they're yell they're flashing yellow. What does that mean? That oh, dude, we we made it through. Uh, oh, that one's just a uh, security camera. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm yeah, Kessler, that winked. Oh, did Snake do a yeah, wink? I missed that. And Kojido's here. What's up? I see you're playing cutscenes of the game. That we are. We are. I hear that that is the or that was the case for Metal yeah, Gear Solid we can get there right 4, now. especially. How are you doing, Kojido? I don't have a favorite Metal Gear girl, but I do have a least favorite. Probably most people know who. Oh. Oh, I'm curious. I don't. You don't, you don't have an idea? Check this out. This guy's freaking sleeping. But there's also a camera right there. So that was one of the uh, points of entry. The duct at his feet. So what we got... I have a preferred path. One that I usually do. Okay. Ooh, there's a guard. Oh, you have a preferred path. Yeah. Wow. I'm worried that we're trapped. How would you, how would you even get... Into that duct with this uh, surveillance There's camera. There's probably ways. Because you saw, you can see, look on the, the radar. Surveillance camera does not point at directly in that wall. Ah. So you, you could try to catch the guard's attention, get him to move somewhere. Yeah. There's just so many ways to play this game. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh F. my God. I <laughs> didn't know. It's so funny, you just have to, like, wait Look it out. Look at the layered music, too. Oh, you're right! This, uh, that feels advanced. <laughs> yeah, that feels advanced, yeah. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. And be careful not to walk in the snow, too, because it leaves footprints. Yeah, soldier third class sleeping on the job. Yeah, Kyber, you're right. That's just some infantry men. We're not talking foxhound here. Oh, man, what was... That's a gutsy soldier sleeping in front of a camera. <laughs> yeah, Kojiro. I can't imagine falling asleep standing up in freezing Alaskan weather like this. I've played this game, but like playing it on stream makes me more nervous. Like I'm being judged. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Every alert, I'm like, ah. Oh, no. I no, play no, games. no, 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 no. You're your own worst critic. <gasps> Dude. Oh, the footprints, the footprints. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Oh, the camera moves. Yeah, it goes back and forth. I'm stressed out. I'm not even playing. I'm stressed out. Yeah. That, oh, we don't that, have a gun. That feels deliberate. That little nook. Yeah. We don't have a oh. gun, but we can. Um, we would be able to shoot out spotlights too if we had a gun. Do you see that guard? Yeah. But if you shoot at a spotlight, I feel like that's pretty obvious. No. Can be. <gasps> I love this. Per this is the perfect angle. Oh my god. <laughs> they wouldn't do that. Oh my god! I don't know. No. As long as I don't knock on the wall. I, I mean, we can okay. like freaking take this guy it was, out. It must. Oh no! Uh oh, there you go. Oh no, no, no! Can you steal his gun? Fudge, dude. <laughs> F, dude. I'm messing it up. <laughs> yeah. All right, a little just, messy, a little messy. Just gonna let it go. I was thinking about trying to just take that guy out, but uh, we, we must have just imagined that guy. All right. <laughs> yeah, you have. We need to use our rations because, um, yeah, that's what yeah. they're there for. I was ready to just die there, but we made it. Yeah, I bet he flips the camera off too before falling asleep on his feet. That man is my hero. That soldier. <laughs> Snake. Taking risks. This is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time, Master. What are you doing? Master. I quit being a drill instructor, mm -hmm. so I moved out here for some peace and Trained quiet. him. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still oh, Snake was in retirement? Alaskan scouts. Yeah, remember? Skills to a new Alone at the end of each game? Yeah, but I didn't know that meant retirement. Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. 
Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Nice. Whoa, he just forward flip kicked to you? That one, uh, soldier? Yeah. Was that what happened? Kaiju with a raid! Kaiju! Thank you so much! Yes, mini dance party. Thank, Thank you, you so very much, much. Wade. How are you doing Kaiju. tonight? How are you doing today? Kaiju, I'm, in, I'm halfway through the first episode of Vibe Proficiency. I'm oh, having yeah. a good time. Oh, yeah. I heard you listening to it. How fun. Yeah, I went on a couple walks, had a drive recently, so having it on has been pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, I listened to all the character intro um, clips, too. Yeah. Check out Vibe Proficiency, yeah, um, Kaiju, Kaiju Chaos's Chaos. D&D podcast. Please. Um, I suddenly wonder if there's a stealth horror game. Blossom? I swear there is. I Hey Cornflakey, what's up? Hey Cornflakey. There's um I, re I vaguely remember like the like a stealth horror game where you're like a child and you're running from like these scary things in your house and you just need to hide in places. I, I don't I, oh. I vaguely remember seeing a trailer like that. Little Nightmares is kind of partly that too. Uh, but it's not like a fully stealth game. Yeah, kind of like yeah, I can see that. I, I, you can make an argument for that. Yeah. Um, hello, Snake. I'm someone you've known for years, but let me tell you my backstory just in case we haven't met before. Yeah, this, yes. the game is very explainy. With yeah, everything. everyone's like, hey, don't forget, Snake, you can crawl, but don't forget you're slower and you can't attack. <laughs> it's like, hmm. Press the select button. Um, oh, Alien Isolation as a s horror stealth game. Oh, maybe? certainly, Kaiju? certainly. Yeah. Dead by Daylight can be a stealth horror game. I never played it, but uh, I know a lot of friends who oh, are. Oh, we got a vent. Or a great in the vent. I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. I'm about to start spraying for rats. Even the voice acting for this side conversation mm -hmm. is. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless. Meryl. Woman in the cell? You'll notice Snake repeats happen? stuff a lot. There's an intruder. Intruder? Really? Oh really? Is that, a, is that a meme three or? Three people? He's killed three people? Oh. Yeah. Wait, intruder? Yeah. Let's so kill three people? Stealth too. Stealth? <laughs> There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. Okay, so we have another intruder. We know where the... Sorry, I'm gonna see if there's. this is gonna be meaningful to call. No, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, go for it. We know where our target is. Snake. Didn't you hear that the DARPA chief was moved yes. to a cell in the first floor basement? That's all he says? I guess so, yeah. Snake, you've got to think. Your mind is your most dangerous weapon. If things are getting too complicated, try to simplify your thoughts. You can also try calling Campbell for advice. Sweet. Um, I think that was like a hint in case we get stuck. Uh, Kaiba asks, Anthony, did you find this game helped you improve your stealth in other games? Mm. Uh, like for timing and cover, or etc. Or is it, or is its mechanics too specific to itself? This series has been certainly influential. So some of the skills you acquire in this game can certainly transfer to other games that have similar mechanics. However, I was never particularly great at these Metal Gear games. Mm. I always went into each room with the stealth plan, but always reverted to guns blazing ah. plan B. <laughs> That's always what happened to me. And then you watch the speed runs or the people who like play through with like no alerts and stuff like that. Mm. It is impressive. They like memorize all the enemy paths and stuff. All about timing. And all about timing and manipulating I, I enemies. I believe and stuff. that. And but people are good at these games. Yeah, this, that is a real great question, Kyber. Thank you. Yeah, I'd get you. stuck within the vents with Mila Kessler. <laughs> somehow, somehow Kessler uh, triggers an alert in the vent. Yeah. Your mind is your most dangerous weapon. Great. I'm going oh, into battle with item. the equivalent of a Nerf gun. <laughs> Coach, you know. There's an item, but there's also an opening. Okay. Press the action button to drop down. <laughs> Action. This is getting pretty micromanagey, boss. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to skip and get this item, though. Ration. Needed it. So. Did you need to turn around there, or could you have... 
backed I could, out. You can back Because out. I was like, how the heck do you turn around in an event like this? <laughs> Which one's the action button? Action button? button? Okay, circle. Okay. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Well, there is a camera right there. Chaff grenade times three. I can't pick. Oh, I'm full. Oh, I have chaff grenades. Where's that? So chaff grenades are like signal jamming grenades for a short time. Oh, like an EMP? A little bit, but it's like, like particles in the air kind of situation. Oh, is that a real um, like kind of device? I think so, but not necessarily in this exact way. Oh, cool. Snake is very, very flexible, Kojido. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see if there's some sort of illustration of him turning around an event. It's a level two like, door. We can't get in. We need a level two access. Also, this part of the floor, here are different sounds, yeah. footsteps. Very uh, cool. That, that also seems advanced. Pretty sure I remember an item in here. Nice. Kuiper says, yeah, Anthony, I think stealth is a hard skill. I saw a guy on YouTube play Skyrim in pure stealth. Was surreal to watch. That sounds fun. Skyrim is uh, a game I have never played. Woo, or got it. Into. I don't even know what I got. We got a gun. We got a gun. Okay, so red, just so you know, lethal. So come. So, so calm. So calm. Sorry, I red means pistol. Lethal. Lethal. We get other weapons that are blue, and I think that's non-lethal. Like this a is also stun. Annoying. Some some sort of thing. You'll see. I don't want to just say. Uh yeah, you know yeah. As much as I do like Metal Gear Solid Two and 3's music, Metal Gear Solid One's music is legendary. I love it. It's very atmospheric. Uh I only, I only know that first, uh, the, the, when you get caught song. Yeah. I haven't, I'm not familiar with anything else I've heard. Hey, Kaji recently got Skyrim VR. How oh, is it? Oh, I played it a little bit. Yeah. I, oh, wait. Did I play it a little bit too? You I may have tried it when we got the maybe PSVR. Maybe I tried it. I remember um, there were two options for <laughs> movement, like here. with other VR games. You can like teleport or you can uh, use, actually walk around. Yeah, yeah walk around. Um, but with my motion sickness, I definitely had to teleport. Teleport works pretty well, too. Yeah. Well, the snow footprints are new. Metal Gear 2, back in 1990, already had different sounds for different surfaces. Oh, that nice. sounds so advanced. What? Oh, the MSX. Oh, oh, F. Oh, my God. You basically just stood there and waved at the camera. I know. I'm trying to get used to the controls. No, it's okay. I'm just teasing. Oh, that's okay. <gasps> that guy. How does... You're going to get uh, caught right now. No. What? They don't see you? No. Oh, it's the cone. It's the vision cone. You're right. I forgot. Even though they're like literally folders. looking at you. Yeah. They just they're very nearsighted. Yeah. Like it's kind of weird, but with a few mods, it's much nicer. Kai just says, nice. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, a thought occurs to me: some guards can hear your footsteps on certain floors, but they just ignore a chaff grenade going off. Maybe these aren't. Wait, so I can't even. Can I go down the stairs here? Is this even safe? Here, you could. The camera is no. pointing on the stairs, right? Check it out. Check the map. No, no, no. Go back. Uh, here, at this point, you could go off the... Off Not the stairs, though. Do you is see the stairs? Wait, isn't the stairs, like, where that line is? It's past the line. See? Yeah, so here. From here, from from the oh, when it's pointing left, left of the cone. cone. Yeah, yeah. No, but when the cone goes over the stairs. Yeah, here, here. At this point, you could... You could oh, go. Oh, you're right, you're right. When it's pointed to the right? Yeah. Shit. Freaking controls. Uh, Kaiju says, got one where you can keep weapons on your back, sides, boots, etc. by just grabbing and placing oh, them there. So nice. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. that's... that's um, It's advanced. That is advanced. I feel like but that's it feels more intuitive. immersive. Yeah, yeah, and intuitive. You're right. So. Yeah, Enigmas looks straight at you, that, that soldier. Yeah. Oh, Kojiro, yeah, genetically improved soldiers, but they're now very nearsighted. Yeah, yeah you know, like with the um, CRISPR uh, <laughs> genetic, uh, what is it, like kind of designer baby embryo type things that I was referencing that exists in our real world. 
I think there was a scientist who actually experimented on his own like children's embryos or something like that. Obviously very controversial, but he presented the the research and he was able to uh, modify their genes so that they, I forgot what it was, like couldn't get s some sort of like, like they couldn't get sick or for some sort of like sickness or something. However, is this, is this open? Yeah, it looks open. However, it left them vulnerable to like other things. Oh, this might be the way we would have come in if we went ah. that ground level. I suspect. So maybe yeah. The, now they're they're all they're souped up, but they're vulnerable because they have poor vision. Yeah. Why do we hire these guards that can only <laughs> see five feet in front of themselves? They should have designed this facility better better to uh, accommodate th their uh, vision. Elevator. Elevator. <laughs> okay. What was that? The guy was coming up. Oh, I didn't see. He doesn't see me now. Oh, nice. All right, we're on the surface. Let's just check basement one. This is pretty. This is pretty tense. Oh, that's <sighs> a B. Yeah. One thirty-one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. B. Enigmas. Remember something Music. like that too? Yeah. Oh. What did the green on the map say? Indicate again? You recall? I don't know. That that kind of warbly looking thing. I think we're gonna find out right now. Look at the radar. It's picking up the Dabaji. Ah. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Can't get in there. That's what, a number six? The door? Okay. I don't see any guards here. Another door here. It's a number one. There's a red dot in there. Oh, ladder. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. <laughs> you love to explain every little thing. Yeah. Um, it's part of the Metal Gear experience. Mm, you can't see very far, but they still shoot better than stormtroopers, Kodri oh. says. Sorry, we should have examined the map a little more just to get an idea of what's okay. going on. In items. fact, if you call Malin uh, repeatedly and not save, she'll eventually get mad at Snake and stop talking to him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <gasps> Interesting. Some bullets. Sorry, these first person section sections probably give you a little motion sickness. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, sorry. No, 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 it's okay. I suppose now's a good time then for Kojiro. Do a quick save with Malin. Sorry. The Soliton radar won't work in a narrow space. Too much harmonic resonance. The radio waves produce interference and we can't analyze the topographic data. Try to hang on until you get to a more open space, okay? I'll um alternate two save files for this playthrough. <laughs> the game subtly teaching kids how not to hit on girls. Very good. Don't <laughs> up, snake. Yeah, we were considering having Audrey play this first game because I know the later games rely more on the um, using the first person perspective and mm. that can give Audrey motion sickness. Oh, okay. well, you can do this. Check this out. Is that a woman? Not him. Oh, wait, did he forget our other... It just hasn't told us. Okay. Snake. The DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. Here it is. to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn. What organization are you with? Um, worthless butt. Is that lingo? Really? Yeah. Okay. It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. You don't Slow look like down. one of them? 
Don't one of the worry. genome first I want the information gene therapy soldiers about the terrorists the or one of the terrorists do they but don't we look exactly like liquid like snake <laughs> what are you talking about? that's why he cut his hair the terrorists are threatening the white okay. house they say if they don't accede to their demands they'll launch a nuclear weapon sweet jesus is it possible it's possible they oh they got him they got a, the codes from him I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. Metal Gear. We we're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. Metal Gear. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the Let's face Let's go. Of the a nuclear equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. <laughs> Say it. Chess. I want you to say <laughs> it. <laughs> Metal Gear. <laughs> hey. It's new. Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. <laughs> so that's yeah, this is not as uh, black as sight. people think it is. I think. Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. We can do eyes in PS1 this graphics. Everyone looks like they have their eyes closed all yeah. the time, or or no Revolution. eyes. I like it. Yeah, I actually kind of like it too. Into the hands of Rex. 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 Metal Gear Rex. Oh. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished. Our oh my god, there's this. We're just talking it up. These guys are pros. They're we're <laughs> we're the worst spy. Hey, shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear war. <laughs> <laughs> you just think we're talking to ourselves? Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL? Yes, of course. There is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords. Oh. Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Yeah. Baker, the president of Arms Tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But they found out my password. They tortured him. You talked. Truth serum. Oh, let's mind. go, Psychomantis. You can't resist. Psychomantis. One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. Does he actually have psychic powers? It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password. Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. Hey, who has him? That car key. So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three car keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three car keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Oh. Any other We're not going to have a radar then? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. <laughs> oh. The areas where the walls are a different color. Dude. I love these clues. Yeah. Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. Oh. It's called a pan card. 
It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. What? Okay. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? What? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is... What is it? What? What's that? Some death note? What just happened? Control is going wild, by the way. Uh, we gotta get out of here. Uh, oh, it's the, yeah. it's the cocktail. Someone shut him up, remotely. It it actually is Death Note. Naomi, the chief. What happened? I I don't know. It looked like a heart attack. Oh my God, the nano machines! Come on, people. Colonel. Are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. He did say that. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Oh my god. So one of her missions was to find out if they have the capability to launch a nuke. Oh, look at the What? Oh. The radar? Look at the radar. Oh, okay. Um Wait, look at the radar. Look at the radar. Wait, stuff's happening. What can you infer? I just heard a bunch of sounds. I don't like beating someone got was uh, The getting... red dot in the neighboring cell walked out. We oh, heard some Meryl. fighting. Meryl got out. Goja. He has psychic powers. I'll pause it here if you want to talk. Yeah, I sorry, saw stuff him was happening. I didn't want you to miss it. <laughs> and put it back on. <laughs> and pain is here. Pain in. What is that? That's like this, right? Yeah. <gasps> Psycho Mantis is Anthony, in my presence. Anthony Mantis. Anthony Mantis. Ooh. Psycho Anthony. <laughs> hey, pain. What's up? Uh, what was your. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have an idea about that. Diarrhea. Sure. About We're diarrhea. We're here for Audrey's predictions. About right. diarrhea. You have thoughts about diarrhea to share right now? Uh, well, we won't get into those, but yes, I do. Okay. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's continue. Oh. Oh, sorry. I'll save it right now too. Yeah, I already know that. Um. The Dapa chief. Wait, hold that thought. Oh man, he has a heart attack right after you save him. I'm getting a bad feeling about this snake. Maybe you should let me save your mission. So this is so specific to like right now, saving right now. I love it. Mm. Let's hear your thoughts and predictions. Well, I, I I do know that I think that juice that we got hit with at the very beginning of the game. Do not confirm or deny anything. Remember, this is Audrey's first. I'm fairly sure this is going to be something that will come back repeatedly. Okay. Okay. Um, do not confirm or and deny. It, it, you know, it's kind of interesting. They kind of just did it and they were like, don't worry about it. Here's the briefing. And it was like she kind explained of like, all the stuff that was in it. Yeah, she did. And it sounded all good, all well and good. Contextually makes and, sense. And Snake even said, like, oh, so you've you've used this on other people before. I'm not the first. This is tested and stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. She, and they were like, Yep, it's tested, but I think we don't know the extent of what these nano machines can do. You ready? Yes. This, this blur. Don't move. <laughs> that quick shot. Oh. So you killed the chief, you bastard. Liquid? No, 
You're not. That's the first time someone. Don't move. She's shaking. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Mm. Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off. <laughs> I told you I'm no rookie. You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. Don't think. Shoot. Are you shooting right now? Yeah. Oh, ouch. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm trying to remember I'm how to reload. You. Shoot! Her first kill, huh? The freaking guy in the back. Yeah. <laughs> that poor soldier. Yeah. Um. Oh, okay, that's how. So I don't. I think that that guy is gonna come back too. Yeah, no spoilers, but I, I love which your is hilarious. And yeah. Did I get hurt? Should I use my ration now? Since one dropped on the ground. Yeah. Might as well, right? Okay, so th we're just gonna like. There's just a wave of enemies. Yeah. Several waves. Oh! What was that? Was that you? No, they threw grenades in here. Oh, they did! Nice. I would use a ration and pick up the. Did the it'll, items disappear? It'll all use it. Oh, it will? They will, yeah. There it is. Thanks for the help. Wait! <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> what was that? That was gratuitous. <laughs> Who are you? I remember that ass. You killed him. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Mental shielding. Boss, I have a good idea. Oh, something like Bane. Mask. Do we, is, is that probably the other the chief the other chief in that chair? Perhaps, yeah. Because they said we're never gonna get that code. Mm -hmm, He's mm -hmm. got good mental shielding. Wait, was that? That's her shooting at us? Yeah, she just wants us to follow. She's gonna. Okay, just so. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, I like Psychomantis' vibe. I didn't know that there was like a supernatural element. Oh, okay. It's fun. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Oh, okay. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Dang. Yeah, Jesus, this game share. Uh, I'm not with you. Back in. Uh, Very important plot development, Kojito. <laughs> what a cool moment! Last save point says. Um, yeah, I I actually do remember. I have this like childhood memory. My cousin playing. I don't even know. It was a Metal Gear game for sure. And there was something about like. Maybe like being able to move the camera and in, in first person view, and I distinctly remember him like zooming in on a uh, like a female character, and she says like, "Hey, like my eyes are up here." You know, yeah, something yeah, yeah. like this that. This game so. is very interactive. Like Kojima interactive. is like highly influenced by film and cinema. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say yeah, but he it injects such creativity in mm. terms of interaction. Yeah. 
he, into the I, and he knows things. exactly yeah. what people are gonna try. Exactly. Yeah. So we know Kenneth Baker is somewhere on the basement level two, and that right. they quickly cemented up some of the entr into entrances, but didn't paint them. And we have access to everything on the first floor now. No, no, we have key card level one for level one doors. Yeah, level one doors. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, ooh, speaking of interaction, y'all ever check out Lone Echo? Anthony has raved about Lone Echo. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he played it in full. Haven't the, the second one is now out, right? It is now out, but I think I it's haven't. Oculus Quest Two exclusive. Gotcha. Um, but I I tried Lone Echo a little bit because Anthony raved about it, but um, it hit me hard with motion sickness. I don't know what it was. The movement was like. Fairly intuitive. It's just a floatiness. I think it's just a floatiness, and the I wish it's not going to work for Audrey. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I couldn't. Um, I couldn't play more than like ten minutes. So check this out, Audrey. Mm. Normal walls, right? Also have a sound. Check out this portion of the wall. Does it look different to you? Yeah. Ooh, uh, the color is much more subtle than I thought. I thought yeah. it would be much um, more obvious. Oh! oh! Game over. Wait, what was that? <laughs> that was a trap. A trap? Yeah. Did they say? I forgot. Did they say something about traps, or is I that just remember. to prevent you from going somewhere you shouldn't be? No, it's just, you can avoid the traps. That scared me. Um. We got to hear someone else scream your name, though. So I'll go to that same trap just so you can see. But nice. I think Snake wanted to hear his name screamed by Melee in a different context. Oh, here, check it out. Another one. Nice. Yeah, I w I'm surprised at how subtle it is. Okay, so this is a level two door, I think. Level one door. Wait, do I have to equip the card? Yeah, Kaiju, that one's oh, I do. Sickness, yeah. Oh! I have to equip. Wait, you can use that here? But this is level one door. It's the doors. Oh, are level, I not understand the, like, now. Yeah, not, not, the floor. not floor. Level, like clearance level. We got some C4. Did you see that? Sweet. What are we gonna do with that? Blow up some walls. Ah, fun. Level six. Oh, we have to equip the card. I, didn't um, I do love that if you just wave at a character, they respond thumbs up too. Oh, that is fun. That is fun. Oh, so now that I'm actually equipped with a card, these ones say no because I don't have the level. Gotcha. They improved that in the second game. Koji says gotcha. Um, you remember? So there's a so Famas here in. Level two door. Right. Yeah, this is technically the third game, so we're talking the second Metal yeah. Gear Solid then. This one's just open. Oh, just I think there's a cutscene that plays if you smoke against the wall and call Mei Ling. Whoa. Like, cool guy pose, and she's like... Like in this no smoking? Right, let's try it then. Oh, because it says no smoking? Okay, so he's just smoking now. He is smoking? If you have it equipped, his health slowly goes down. Because you're smoking? Yeah. How interesting is that? You caught Snake? <laughs> Snake, listen to what Lo Chi said. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. Maybe oh, not okay. then. Oh, uh, maybe another game. Maybe it was okay, three. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. Um, the first was on the NES, and then they made a canon sequel on the old Gen One Game Boys. Oh, okay. Smoking does kill. Pinoy says, "Yeah, I'm, I, it's kind of a, a funny detail." Level one. Does that give you motion sickness too when I switch to yeah. first person? Yeah. Okay. Would you like all me to warn then. you when I do it? Oh, no, no, no. There's another yeah, one right it's here. Fine. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Okay, so you do have the walkthrough. I know that there's like optional things or things I can get earlier than I need them. We're in the second floor basement. Are there any... I, I think I know which of the walls I need to blow up, but is there any other optional stuff that we don't want to miss out on now while we're here? So Audrey, I sent Audrey a link to a non-spoilery walkthrough. It is very straightforward instructions. Is this the armory? Yeah. 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 Um, sorry. What was your question? 
Is there anything else that we don't want to miss now while we're here? You got the we got the C4, C4. we got the grenades. It doesn't say. No? No. Okay. It just says you'll find some cool items and weapons. Okay, so it's a very straightforward walkthrough yeah, that I yeah, sent yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, Trying to remember which wall. Oh, How many oh it says here. You want me to tell you? Sure. It says, set some C4 on the wall on the southwest wall of the yeah, armory. Yeah, this one. It doesn't mention anything about the other ones? Um... So I saw two more. I'm going to go blow them up. Just because I have the C4 right now. Okay. Yeah, I think um, it doesn't say anything about these. So, I don't know. Maybe that means that there's it's extra stuff. I'm going to mail Audrey a giant ginger root. I'm I am um, eating some ginger candy right now because I started feeling a little bit of a, a queasiness from some of the movement. Yeah, sorry. Here. No, no, no! Don't Doing apologize. It. Go for it. Do we, it opened there? up the map too. Oh, cool! Are there no cameras in this lower area? Stun grenade, nice. Jeff grenades. We're set. How about the general camera movement? This top-down portion. Oh, this, this is, is okay? fine. Oh. No, I, could, I could do this all day. Uh, it took me a long time to beat that one. Mm. Which which one? MGS3 or the Game Boy Color? Uh, oh, 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 maybe the Game Boy one. Sorry. More C4. Love it. And some traps. Oh! I think it was SOCOM ammo. That's kind of a cute, uh, cute trap. For like a military facility. Yeah. Like a little Wait, like what? drop door. <laughs> so unsafe. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay. Does C4 stand for something? Or like probably great question. I'm not sure. Yeah, I just I, I always know I know the association. I just know jamming. Know. Oh, they okay, said so they're in they an area with a bunch of jamming, right? Yeah. Is where Baker is being held. Yep. Let's do a... Let's check in with everyone. Well, can we? It's jammed, right? President oh, no. Baker should be somewhere around there. Hurry up and find him. Just oh, for the soliton radar. You can't use your yeah. radar there. Mailing says it's because of electronic jamming. If you want to know more, ask her. I wonder how many players will set C4 and de detonate it while standing right there. I probably don't. That's, that's a me mistake. Of battle are used to catching naps whenever and wherever they can. Oh. There's a big difference between real soldiers and those kids who have only been trained in VR simulators. Okay. After playing for a long time, you should get some rest too. Oh. Is that nice. supposed to be like for us? wall breaking? Yeah. Oh, this game. These games. Snake, you can't use your radar in that area. There's some kind of electronic jamming coming from there. I wonder what it is. Anyway, be careful. Gotcha. Thank you guys. Composition 4. It's probably like some standardized rating. Uh, maybe like a certain mix. Perhaps. This, this is the composition for that mix yeah. for this. And it's just the most well-known. Yeah. Thank you Be for careful, answering. Snake. Cool. Yeah, I think it's worth it for us to do that. So anytime you feel like we haven't checked in a while, just say it okay. and we'll do it. I, they said Mailing uh, grew First up person. in America, but she she doesn't have an American accent. No, no. Suspicious? Am I reading into it too, uh, too much? Well, I mean, she, maybe she grew up in a community or first language is still Chinese, you know? Okay. I mean, that could be a thing. Yeah. I, I can think... Wait, uh, was she born in China and then moved to the U.S.? Yeah, they said she was raised in the U.S. Yeah, I think she was born in China and moved yeah, to the U.S. Yeah, yeah. But then she age. does talk about, um, like, kind of... Uh, first person again, sorry. Oh, uh, go ahead. Okay. Like, having this, like, cross-culture... Um, oh, like okay. reading literature of both cultures? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's reminding me of A, double A, double A, C, D batteries with C2, C3, C4 explosive. There's one there, one here. Okay. Oh, exactly enough. What? What? Oh. oh. I was like, can I still use them?
Oh, got him. Oh my god, this is scary. Too late. He's just like tripwires? Oh! He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? He's gone. Don't worry. Something I'm sketch. Here to save you. Are they coming out of his body? No, 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 oh! C4. Ooh, slow mo. That's fun. Right. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps this about. reveal. Special <laughs> operations foxhound. Hello, revolver ocelot. Love it. Cool guy. <laughs> Let's go. For you, solid snake. Careful about spoilers, you're all. <laughs> Check our policy just in case in chat. Including this foreshadowing. It's okay to be excited, but be careful. The Colt single action army. Yes! This is his thing, huh? More than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me. Revolver. Yeah. Is it, uh, this is a boss fight. Draw! You have to, and you have to navigate around this trap. Hiding won't help you. Who's hiding? The you I make them go. I make them go where I want. Oh, a baker has a health bar. Oh! Do you see? Do you see his bullets? The bullets? Yeah, yeah. That's what he means by you make the bullets go where. Yeah. I love to reload during a battle. That's your signal to attack. Look at it, you see his ammo at the top too. Oh. Yeah, we are playing on easy. Remember, this the is freaking bullets though. Baker can get shot. Yeah. Can you do that? Can you shoot off walls? No. Okay. You can walk into the wires and get a game over right now. Don't you want to settle this? Do it. I have my rations equipped. Okay. You're doing great. <laughs> I love an eccentric boss. Yeah. I feel like that's going to be all these uh, Foxhound yeah. crew. Great characters. I'm very excited. Yeah. Supernatural is a good way to put it. Kind of reminds me... Um, well, I was thinking about Psycho Mantis with Supernatural, but... Just very fantasy, very you're fantastical. Um, you're pretty good. From the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warm. Oh, second phase? What? <gasps> My hand! Oh! Oh! Oh, this is the other person. Um, the other intruder. Yeah, intruder. I know who this is. I totally forgot about this character. If I'm correct about... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know who this character is. I'm pretty sure I know who that is. Freaking awesome. Can you talk? Who are you? Did he cut off this guy's arm? Did you get him out? No, cut off Ocelot's arm. Oh, what what's how about Oh oh no, it's inside his jacket. Okay. Yeah, I saw I saw him cut off Ocelot's arm. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. Ocelot got away, right? Talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. The cards! 
It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Dude. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? What? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist. Okay, torture. something's up with the other guy then. <laughs> Maybe. Looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Mm. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh. you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't he be. checked too, right? No, no, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh, oh Jim! What? Calm down. You mentioned Jim What's earlier. Like, you? You sent I just told you I was here Jim to sent save you? you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Nano machines, oh, say it. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Uh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Dude. Damn. <laughs> I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists. No, that woman. There we go. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. Mm -hmm. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by code. Oh. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, here we go. Oh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Damn. Oh. What? I thought he was going to die. Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right back away. Back of the CD but case. tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? Something's not adding up. age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. Uh-oh. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium Whoa, is increasing scene. even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high. As far as you can see. I love this, uh... Because is this real footage? Yeah. Dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Sounds like a disaster. That, several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material. Oh. It proves that oh. there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. 
to maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. Wow. You just, you just got to outpower yeah. everyone else. Good old fashioned arms race. You mean Metal Gear. Yeah. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to All about the money. next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed This guy's a real Metal bad guy. As a black, project. <laughs> yeah. black project. Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. Dude, sketchy. Something's not adding up. I prefer to think of it as good business. I think this guy's honest, anyway, though. Yeah, he is. Formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What yeah. kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Oof. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. Who's Jim? I'll give you my card. The actual commander is the Secretary oh, of Defense. Oh, 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 that's the Secretary of Defense, right? I, th I think so. Can you walk? Yeah. No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dude, dark Wolverine. Secret. An experimental genome soldier. <laughs> Exoskeleton? You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi. Oh. She knows better you than You got I some can. explaining to do. Naomi. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and This guy's I about are to die. Finished. No? What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Here we go, here we go. Metal Gear itself does, but What? What did you do to me? Shut no. it down. Oh. oh no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So they, they actually went in, did it. Did the controller what are you vibration about? They, they, they are just using you for. Out with it, man. <sighs> yeah. This is another. The hell. Oh man. What the hell indeed. No one's no one's good in this. Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn. Snake. I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? Naomi's sketch. You can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Oh my gosh. We do not have full transparency with Naomi. We got max health up. Nice. All right. Take a moment. What, share your thoughts here. Um, do not confirm or deny. No spoilers. No foreshadowing. Yeah. Yeah. Um. How How did he hide that disc? Moving on. Yeah. I was yeah. like, wait, what? what? What disc are we talking about? Uh, David Hayter was lead in Guyver Dark Hero. Oh. Not familiar. I haven't seen the Guyver movies in years. Oh, I blew up this wall Why earlier. Mr. Armor Guyver was like the first anime I saw. Oh. Um, something's not adding up. 
Uh huh. Like that, um, Donald didn't have the, uh, brain, um, insulation stuff to prevent the, uh, the psychomantis. The implants, right? Implant, yeah, psychomantis from reading his mind. But the, and the guy was like, oh, yeah, oh, he did it? All right, uh. I feel like I'm supposed to blow that wall. I blew that wall earlier, but. Um. I'm gonna see if I can find more C4. Sorry, keep going, keep going. And then, um, what was that? Donald was also before he died was like trying to get There's something out of here now. Oh, he was like trying to get something out of Snake. Like, uh, did they tell you any other way? Did they tell you any other way to stop uh, to stop Metal Gear yeah. or whatever? Um. And Seiko's like, no. He's like, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? And then he supposedly oh, died. Oh, we're at level two now. Oh. Sorry, interrupting your train no, of thought here. that's okay. Here's something fun. Yeah. Suspicious. What? This is for you. Okay. What? Oh! Fun. The cigarette smoke, dude. That is fun! Isn't that neat? That's the mechanic in this. Oh, we got a hey! raid from Gogo Zombie. What's Go -Go up? Zombie. Thank you. Thank you so much for the raid. Let's There's a mini dance party for dance you. Dance party for Gogo. -Go. How are you doing, Gogo -Go Zombie? Thank you. Oh, Welcome and Wallace everyone. is here. Wallace. Oh, snap. Oh, snap indeed, Wallace. We're playing Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> uh, is this on the PS1? Yeah. Yes. We're playing, and we uh, are playing on, on original PlayStation 1. That is it. Gogo -Go is doing well. Glad to hear that, Gogo. -Go. Trying to find some more C4, but... Uh, sorry, you were, you were going over your thoughts about what's been going on? Um, just something's not adding up between these two, uh, our two targets. Mm -hmm. And, uh, now they're both dead. And, yeah, so, definitely there's sketchiness with, for the, the people that we are supposedly, supposedly working for are not being fully transparent and, uh, are definitely sketchy. Uh-huh. Um, the Pentagon... I don't know. Uh, no one has a no one has a great motive here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's like an arms race. Level three door. And what else? So what is our current course of action? We're we had to get to out of that area. Yeah. Well. Oh yeah. Because of the interference. We're we're trying to stop Metal Gear. So now since we don't have, they have the codes and we don't have the cards. Meryl has it. Um. We asked that guy for another way, and he said, oh, go talk to my engineer, Hal. Hal Emmerich. Emmerich? Yeah. Um, because if there's someone who would know, it would be it. Hal. So I think we're going to go try see Hal now. Yeah. But also Campbell said, work with Meryl on this. Yeah, right? he said, work with Meryl on this. So but we he, have she, she was in codec contact with uh, Armsec president. Yeah, what was his name? Kenneth Baker. Kenneth Baker. But so... We're like, whoa, good. What's what's the code? He said on the back of the CD. Yeah. Is that the CD he said he, he gave forgot. Us? He said he forgot. Yeah. The code. Is it the CD he gave us or? No, that was so. What was that CD? It was an optical disc containing the raw data from this um, experiment with Metal Gear. They were gonna get raw data from this test prototype and then go into mass production after that. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna let you try to figure this out. What? He said something about a CD. Yeah. So, what's going on with the CD? Um, yeah. Oh, I love this game. It almost feels like a Metroidvania, Wallace says. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. I'll tell you right now, this is figure outable. Oh, I can figure this out. You can figure Sorry, this well, out. Sorry, what, what was it again? And it's not, it's not do uh, this and just call every number. It's not that. <laughs> Oh, um, so he said back of the CD. Is that my hint? Yes. But we that's didn't, the only hint you have. But Snake was, wasn't, seemed to know exactly what. He kind of was like, okay, moving on. Okay. Uh, so back of the CD. Uh-huh. CD. Uh-huh. As CD, 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 CD. Maybe. Uh -huh. Can I look at the inventory? Sure. So my items here. 
card, scope, ration, disc, optical disc containing Metal Gear exercise data. No. Okay. That disc was the one that we got from... Um... From, ba from Baker, yeah. Oh, I get this. This is going to be... Oh, I think I get it. Like the actual disc? I don't know. <gasps> Wait, just follow through with your thoughts. Wait, like CD on the back of the CD, like the, uh, the disc of the game? I don't know. Check it. D follow through with your thoughts to find out. Test your test your theory, Audrey. Because I knew there was stuff like this, but I didn't know like this. There's a hint line. Tell out, tell chat. What oh do you see? What do you see? On the back of the disc, they just have, you know, you know, all that text and they have a bunch of like a collage of screenshots. Uh -huh. And one of the screenshots on here is a, a screenshot of Snake talking to Meryl. And it says, you know, how it has a conversation on yeah. the on that kind of um, screen. It says Meryl. And uh -huh. it has, I have her... Uh, her uh, frequency. Yeah. Do you right think you here. can go to like full camera and, <gasps> yeah, how and cool put it up to the that? camera? Well, I, I, can't, I think this is Will probably. It show up? Um, is it going to be sharp enough for the image for you guys to see? Is it focusing? Oh, here I'll go. I'll go to full camera really quick. Yeah. Because Start from a little so farther away, cool. then bring it in. Right there. It says Meryl. Yep. We did it. It shows the code. And it has a code there. Back of the CD. That is Think so... Think about all the message boards back in the day. No like, way. What is Mel's Kodak code? That is so funny. Yeah. You were talking about... you. You, I mean, you caught on to it earlier about how the game breaks the fourth wall a little bit here and there. Yeah, I knew. I know that there's things like this. Yeah. There's, a, there's one specifically that I'm thinking of. Sure. Um... What's the code, I didn't know about this one. So we're looking at... Oh my God, how funny is this? That... Yeah. I don't... I'm kind of mad at it, but it's also really fun. Yeah. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah. It's like, that's, that's oh. like the essence of uh, Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's Sorry, like, what was go, the go, go uh, check in the back of the refrigerator. <laughs> Your refrigerator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's, a, there's a code there. Um, so we're looking at 140.15. Nice. So cool. <laughs> yeah, Johnny, that's so cool. Oh, only only because I played Metal Gear Solid Three do I think I know this answer. Oh, mm. oh, yeah. I I thought CD might have stood for something. Yeah, more more jargon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That is so cool. Yeah, a bit old fashioned, but that's meta. Yeah. 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 How you do if you have the digital version? I think the digital version, mm. like on PS3, you have access to the manual, digital copy of the manual in the game. I think. That doesn't have the same uh, Effect. feel, yeah, it though. Have the same feel. All right, ready? <gasps> Calling Meryl. That is so fun. Now I'm like looking at all these uh, images here. Oh, last night. Uh, with LSP the host. with the host. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Glad to have you here. Host. Yeah, that is really fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, scans of the boxing manual. I'm sure, for sure. All right, I'm doing it. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece, Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? <laughs> That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? The voice acting is so good in this game. It is Sorry, good. Before, I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes. Oh, uh, he's already laying on the moon. Soldier's eyes. These eyes, right? No, they're beautiful, compassionate eyes. <laughs> Woo! How oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. Definitely James Bond. Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. God. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, Dude, I thanks for that game. That. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? 
Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? <laughs> oh my okay. god. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right, for the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. Oh. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. <laughs> So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, mm. right? Mm? That's right. Mm -hmm. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. <laughs> anyway, you met Baker. I... Anyway. Wait, what? Is he holding up? He's dead. Do I? What? <laughs> Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too. Yeah. It's death note. Oh Was either my God. of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm. Sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Sketchy. Neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Oh, like Probably. this version of Metal Gear. She should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to mm. ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. Mm -hmm. Gotta have a backup plan. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Yeah. <laughs> What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. Mm -hmm. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. Oh, the music. I never had awesome. any problems yeah. in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. Mm. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. He's a pretty good mentor. Yeah, certainly. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. 
Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. No, oh, I love that whole interaction. Yeah. So, Aww. go back to the first floor. There's mm. a cargo door, level five. Yeah. That she will take us to the north to the other building. Right. Where we're going to find uh, Hal Emmerich. And she also has a level five key, so she has to help us. Perfect. But other than that, Snake doesn't want her to be involved. Because she's yeah. too green. She's too green. She, I mean, she's held her own, but I think it's getting too big. Too intense. Yeah. yeah. Let's check um, in with everyone real quick. Let's do it. Unless you have some thoughts to share about that right now. Uh, no, nothing yet. Okay. Um, yeah, Red Blood Cell. I can't tell you my name. Oh, I know exactly who you are now. <laughs> yeah, basically. Like, oh, you can't tell me your name? You must be Snake. Yeah. Process um, of elimination. Uh, Johnny says, my brother gifted Metal Gear Solid 3 to me knowing I hadn't played any of the others, and I was skeptical to start on part three of a mm. series, so I didn't play it for a year. Not realizing, oh, it was a prequel, and starting with it works out just fine. Yep, yep, okay, yep. interesting. Don't want to get too spoily for Audrey, but That's we are, if we do continue to play all these games, we are going to play them release order. Yeah. 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 Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, this is a PS1 title. Oh, yeah. yeah it's it incredible, is. isn't it? It is. I, I'm pretty shocked. Performances are awesome. The performances, the, the writing, it seems. The way they, the limitations and what they did creatively to kind of overcome those limitations to convey. Mm hmm the character's performances, the the, the facial, the, like very simple mm -hmm. facial animations, but yeah. like they're effective. Um, I'm guessing this game uh, was released in Japan first and then was localized Probably. here. It just feels like the localization and the script feel very um, like poetic and like natural yeah. and everything. I mean, considering maybe back then, mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm thinking of some other games back then that weren't as, I don't know. Um, Legend of Dragoon, yeah. Yeah, legend. Yeah. Of, yeah, just not as. It deserved better, um, certainly. Liter literary. <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah I, I talked I about like it during it. my playthrough yeah. with Dragoon, but yeah. It's very inspired. Um, yeah, the um the GameCube version of this game, the remake, they redid the writing and had all the actors re-record their lines and everything. Okay. But yeah, but yeah. Last save point. Our... Totally agree. Dialogue and music really took me off guard in the series yeah. better than I ever would have thought. Certainly. Yeah. Yeah. It's surprising. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's check in with everyone. Sounds good. Don't worry, Colonel. Meryl is fine. Thank God. Meryl is a very strong woman. I really respect her. She's got plenty of heart. Thanks, Snake. Not so fast. The real mission is still ahead. Nice. People who have been through war and survived develop a kind of sixth sense to warn them of danger. Trust your instincts as a soldier, as a gamer. Whoa. <laughs> Snake, don't be so impatient. Settle down. I need a little more time to get the cargo door open. I'll call you when I get How the door How a lot. Open. Thank, Thank you, you for the so follow. much for okay. the follow. The mini dance party, a celebration. Thank you very much for the follow. Um, yeah, well, as the composers for this game did an astounding job. That's yeah, I, I'm, I'm finding that I'm not that familiar with the Metal Gear music in the, or the, the music in this game mm -hmm. so far, except for the, you know, that theme when you get caught. Um, but yeah, it's great. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 did release a month earlier in Japan, but oh. Metal Gear Solid 2 actually released a couple weeks earlier in America. I did read about that. That's right. I feel like David Hayter and the others are just are these characters to, to Kojima, yeah. maybe. Okay. Like iconic connection, like, oh, this character is this actor kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine that's how you answer calls. It, <laughs> like how, how this is happening right now, yeah. We got a triple hydrate from Hala. Hala, thank, thank you so much. Um, Lord Taco, is this Battletoads? Close. <laughs> Very close. This is Metal Gear Solid 1. Um, I haven't seen any solid bat Battletoad yet, but we have Solid <laughs> Snake here. Yeah, trust your gamer <laughs> instincts, bruh. Our master <laughs> does kind of have, like, this uh, bro... Yeah, yeah. Vibe. Tone, yeah. Yeah. Um, Metal Gear Solid 3 released first in the U.S. too. Oh, okay. Surprising. Okay, I'm going to get that triple hydrate in. What is it, Snake? They did a great job like in casting Snake. Uh, Not hater, sad, David Hater. All spent, what our desire is got without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble Ooh. if you're not careful. 
That goes for items too. Oh. Don't get too greedy. Wait, did we hear this one yet? We had a different one. Careful, Snake. She has a lot of these. Yeah, like is how many of those like uh, I actually don't know. It feels like a lot. Is it like every time you talk to her it's a new thing or does the context I'm matter? sure it repeats eventually. Okay. But it feels like a lot. Yeah. That's so fun. I think this might be a good place to stop for okay, us. Okay, sounds good. I know we didn't get a ton of time with the game, but we had a lot of meaningful briefing prior for the we context. Did. And it is paying off already. Yeah. I feel like we, it's been easy for us to follow along with the story. How yeah, do you it's, feel? it's kind of funny. It's like they, they say it's like this pre briefing, but then it's like we're, we're refining things out within the context of the game. They have to assume that some people won't. Sure, definitely, definitely. But Watch yeah, those. Um, yeah, it's great. Yeah, Lord Taco. Okay, so there could be toads. Could be. Yeah, there's tree frogs, I hear. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see. We'll get there eventually, maybe. Yeah. Um, David Hader does some sploof uh, voicing of Snake. Yeah, yeah. We, we referenced it earlier, Wallace. Maybe someone oh, will post yeah, it on our saying, Discord. Some sort of meme. Yeah, he, he just lives in the memes. It kind of like brings That's him to fun. life. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah, he, I'm sure he loves uh, this character, it, yeah. it seems like. Um, How are you feeling so far? I mean, what were you expecting today? Because you have some familiarity with the series. Yeah. And how is it whole? How does it compare to your expectations today? I, w I was actually expecting uh, for me to get a little overwhelmed with all the things mm -hmm. that might happen. Maybe because um, this is the first one of Metal Gear Solid. You know, they're just mm -hmm. setting everything up for later games. I feel like I'm able to follow everything pretty well so far. Especially with everyone constantly re-explaining things and Snake just saying, "What? This? Yeah, what? yeah, yeah." Um, but everything's so good so far. I, I'm surprised to see that, like, that um, exoskeleton ninja character. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I'm, I think I know who that is. I don't really know. I kind of know what they're about. Um, yeah. I'm just surprised. I, I guess I didn't know how early. And, yeah, it's, some of the names are familiar. And I don't I don't know where this is going exactly. I sure. just feel like something... Some things you feel strongly that you think you know what's going on. Yeah, but I... I some things... I don't know. Like I, I can, I feel that definitely, you know, this, some things are not adding up, um, between, uh, the stories of, or the, what Kenneth says and what mm -hmm. Donald said, like something's going on there. Um, obviously the Pentagon is up to this, their own thing. Yeah. And, and then, Campbell's only really here because the Pentagon knows that we only listen to him. Yeah. But he doesn't have access to all the classified documents. He's not the He's not the actual commander of this operation. No, no. Uh, so Jim is, or mm -hmm. Jim. Secretary of Defense. Yeah, and uh, they've already teased, or they've already told us who the uh, six uh, Foxhound members that were yeah. inevitably going to go up against. We already met up with one re revolver ocelot. We got a sneak peek at what I'm we so believe excited. is Psycho Mantis. I'm, too, right? I'm excited to see how uh, uh, they're different in their uh, eccentricity. In eccentricity eccent absolutely um i kind of get like this like kill bill vibe yes where, like um at the beginning they're like these are the i forgot what they're called the four Wee. yeah Ooh. like Wee. this is this Ooh. character and then the, you know this is you know Wee. Wee. exactly exactly they have their own like specialties and uh and they yeah. have their own very distinct look yeah um i'm, I'm really into it yeah yeah, it's exciting. I'm sure I'm Hideo excited for Kojima you as a fan of uh, Quentin Tarantino. Uh, They're probably buds. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, oh, thank you, Kyber, for the thank kind you for the kind words. words Kyber. Thank you so much. Totally has a Kill Bill vibes. Good call. Yeah, yeah I, exactly. Audrey, I don't know. Audrey has good um, comparisons like that. That's yeah, like, that makes perfect sense. I just, I just com like uh, Kill Bill. I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I could yeah. get a sense of that. Oh God! Now I want Tarantino to direct a Metal Gear Solid Dude, movie. That could be it. <gasps> I feel like we gotta hook them up. It's probably the other way around, right? Oh, Tarantino got it from games and other media. Certainly, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah you're He's right. You're definitely right. influenced by comics. For yeah. Sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I just um yeah, I got that kind of vibe. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. I'm really excited for you, Metal Gear Solid One. I'm excited that we're playing the PlayStation One version, mm -hmm. just so we have this locked in our minds as the first. 3D Metal Gear game. And then we can just, if we, if no promises, if we continue moving forward through the games, I think it'll be really rewarding for you to see how not only the games evolve technically, but how the technology is used by the developers and Kojima. How they take advantage of, right? Because oh, better graphics is just better graphics, right? Yeah. But how they use it, how they use the technology. Because there's already like fourth wall breaking stuff and funky, weird stuff mm -hmm. happening. So 
Oh. It's going to just get more Ray wild. tracing? Okay, well. Okay, no, I don't I, think no. there's any Metal Gear game with ray tracing yet, but. I don't know. I'm just throwing out some buzzwords <laughs> that I know. <laughs> but thank you guys for coming um, along. It, it feels good so to have a duo stream again. We had a, mm. a busy month. So we had to cancel a couple of duo streams, mm. but it's fun streaming with you, Audrey. Mm. Um, if you guys are new here, my name is Anthony. And I am Audrey. Together, we make up this channel, Rianny. Audrey Anthony. So Rianny. Oh, that's... That's that's what it is. Oh. We both have solo streams on the channel and duo streams. Duo streams we try to do once a week. So for now, for our duo streams, we are working on Metal Gear Solid. For Audrey's right. solo streams, she's been working through her very first playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Mm. Check that out. That's been a blast to watch. It's fun. It's and really then for fun. my solo streams, I've been working on Radiant Historia, a JRPG on the Nintendo 3DS, and a little bit of Final Fantasy XIV on the side. Um, please check our schedule down below in the About and the Schedule section here on Twitch. Schedule section is in your time zone. Um, what's coming up? Today is what, Wednesday? Today is Wednesday. Friday mm. is some more Radiant Historia with me. This weekend, we don't have anything, but then m I think Monday, Monday is back. more Ocarina of Time with Audrey. Correct. Tuesday should be another duo stream next week. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we are taking a little bit of a break for the holidays mm -hmm. to spend some time with family. Mm -hmm. There may or may not be streams here or there, but we're just going to try to take some time off and relax. But of course, if any streams come up or any changes to our schedule come up, um, and we apologize for the last second nature of some of our changes recently, they, they will be announced on our Discord. So check that out. And then we'll be back next year in January after yeah. that. Yeah, Snake. Thanks for popping in and uh, saying hi. Those are some great yeah, emotes. Yeah, those are fun emotes. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, Audrey just now figuring it out. I, I thought we were Rayoni this whole time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm so excited to see the rest of the playthrough. Yes, Thank you, Last, last Save, save Point. point. And Very shout fun. out to Last Save Point. It's oh, been a pleasure. Yeah. We've known Last Save Point for months, like most of this year now. Yeah. Um, Currently working or still working through Final Fantasy thirteen. I, I yep, and Yakuza 0. I'm, I'm always yeah. lurking. I can't always pay full attention to your streams, Last Save Point. Mm. But it's every time I chime in, it's fun. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Is that why you always mention ray tracing? I get it now. That's right, <laughs> Blossom. You found us out. And Wallace, this game is dope. You're going to enjoy it, Audrey. I'm in. I'm already enjoying it. This. Um. I'm excited along with you, Wallace. I'm excited. Yeah. Well, when is the musical portion? <laughs> no I'm spoilers. just kidding. Unless, uh, unless there is. No, I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> is there a rhythm game portion? No. I don't know. <laughs> How wild are we getting? We'll here? see. We'll see. Um, let's, um, we're going to try to find someone to, uh, to raid. Mm -hmm. Um, but let's end it here. Do you have any other thoughts? How about expectations for the next stream? Ooh, expect expectations for the game, the playthrough. What do you want to see happen? Uh, you already said that you're looking forward to these Kill Bill-esque yeah. bosses. There's, uh, yeah, the bosses for sure. I, you know, I want to see what makes them special. Yeah. I'm sure they're they're going to be very individually very unique and interesting. Certainly. Uh, I'm waiting. I'm excited to see uh, the twist. I'm sure there's going to be some sort of sure. Certainly. You thought. That's why I'm excited this, to hear your but predictions. But actually, yeah. this. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there, this kind of seems like a a morally gray situation again. I don't know if I can categorize mm. these characters into good and oh, bad. Oh, okay, that's a fun way to think about it. So, like our um, tactics play through, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I guess we have to choose the lesser of two evils and try to help work with one side. Mm -hmm. And right now we're working with uh, the U.S. government. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, they clearly have their own thing going on. Certainly. Uh, their own agenda. And thank you, Snake. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, Snake. I didn't know that either. There's a, there's that's a long crazy. time. Um, so, yeah, I uh, that's kind of my expectation so far. I'm sure there's going to be more uh, Metal Gear Solid ladies. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't actually know like if that. it culminates into some sort of romance, but you know me. I'm, sure. I'm always uh, excited about the little romant, uh, uh, romantic subplot of a of a game mm -hmm. or a show. Um, yeah, that's Very just flirty. the uh, romantic <laughs> in me. Yeah, yeah, um, uh, yeah. And I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes about the lingo. Good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I've already. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to look up some of these uh, quotes and commit them to memory. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've hit so many iconic yeah. things so far, and I'm excited for our future playthroughs of this game. 
excited. Yeah, thank you guys. Check our schedule. Check our Discord. All the links are in chat and down below. Um, yeah, we're going to try to find someone to raid, but thank you guys very much for hanging out. And uh, we will see you very soon, hopefully, in the next one. Thank you all. Check our schedule. Thank you. Once again, my name is Anthony. And I'm Audrey. Together, we are Rianne. Looking forward to hanging out with you guys more on Shadow Moses Island. Goodbye.